This is a glossary of technical terms, jargon, diver slang and acronyms used in underwater diving. The definitions listed are in the context of underwater diving. There may be other meanings in other contexts. Topic A AA6061 Aluminium alloy 6061 not subject to sustained load cracking. Currently 2012 used for manufacture of new diving cylinders. AA6351 Aluminium alloy 6351 This alloy is subject to sustained load cracking and requires periodical eddy current testing. No longer used for new cylinder manufacture, but many cylinders of this alloy are still in service. ABLJ See Adjustable Buoyancy Life Jacket Absolute Pressure Total static pressure at the reference point, pressure relative to vacuum. A clamp fitting, valve. Sea yoke fitting, valve. A clamp adapter. Sea yoke adapter. Active addition. See also rebreathe a hashtag active addition semi-closed circuit. System for semi-closed circuit rebreathe a feed gas addition in which gas is added to the breathing circuit by a mechanism, regardless of current volume, and excess gas is vented to keep the loop volume within limits. Compare with passive addition. Activated carbon. Activated charcoal. A filter medium used to remove oil, water and odors from breathing air. Addis. An International Commercial and Occupational Diver Certification Scheme. Adjustable Buoyancy Life Jacket. Also known as ABLJ or Horse Collar Buoyancy Compensator. A combination of buoyancy compensator and inflatable life jacket worn on the chest and round the neck. ADV. Automatic diluent valve, a demand valve set into the breathing loop of a rebreather to inject diluent gas into the loop when the loop volume falls and there is not enough gas for inhalation. A frame. Part of launch and recovery system. Gantry or davit for launching and recovering bells, stages anchors or large ROVs. Usually deployed by hydraulic rams which swing the frame over the deck or overboard as required. The load is hoisted and lowered by cables from the top of the frame. Age See arterial gas embolism Aggressive decompression Decompression profile tending to shorter overall decompression time for a given pre-ascent dive profile, accepting increased risk of decompression sickness to reduce the overall ascent time. Air dome A section of cave which traps air or other gas at the top. This gas is not directly connected to the surface. Airlift. A device based on a pipe, used in by divers to suck small objects, sand and mud from the sea bed and to transport the resulting debris upwards and away from its source. Air is injected into the lower end of the pipe and the rising bubbles entrain water and cause an upward flow which draws the material from the bottom along. Airline. Airline. See surface supplied diving hashtag airline. Simple low pressure hose carrying breathing air to a diver. Air top. 1. Completing a planned breathing gas mix by topping up with compressed air. 2. Topping up a partly used breathing gas mix with compressed air, providing a different mixture which is analyzed after the fill. Algal bloom. A rapid increase or accumulation in the population of algae typically microscopic in an aquatic system. Some blooms may be recognized by discoloration of the water resulting from the high density of pigmented cells. Visibility can be severely impaired over a period of hours to days. ALP Articulated loading platform, a type of single point mooring consisting of a buoyant upper structure with a lattice leg linked by an articulating joint to a mooring. Alternative air source A secondary supply of air or other breathing gas used by the diver in an emergency Alternobaric vertigo Dizziness caused by a difference of pressure between the middle ears Altitude diving Diving at a location where the water surface is at an altitude which requires modification of decompression schedules. More than about 300 meters 980 feet above sea level. 
Ambient pressure Pressure of the surroundings Anoxia Completely lacking in oxygen AODC Association of Offshore Diving Contractors, one of the predecessors to IMCA Aphasia An impairment of language ability which may range from having difficulty remembering words to being completely unable to speak, read, or write Apnea 1. Suspension of breathing, breath hold 2. Freediving Aqua lung Self-contained open-circuit underwater breathing equipment consisting of a diving cylinder and diving regulator Arterial bubble model Decompression model in which the filtering capacity of the lung is assumed to have a threshold radius of the size of a red blood cell and sufficiently small decompression bubbles can pass to the arterial side, especially during the initial phase of ascent Arterial gas embolism Blockage of an artery by a gas bubble a possible consequence of lung overpressure injury. Articulated loading platform. See ALP. R vest. A waistcoat vest style harness of heavy cloth with strong adjustable webbing straps so that the diver cannot slide out under any predictable circumstance. Ascent. Part of the dive profile where the diver is moving upwards towards the surface. An ascent may be interrupted by stops Q, v, when the diver maintains a functionally constant depth for the purpose of decompression, and pulls Q, v, during which periods there is consistently upwards movement minor variations in the scale of a few seconds are generally ignored. Ascent rate The rate at which depth is reduced at the end of a dive. An important component of decompression. ASSET Association of Scuba Service Engineers and Technicians ATA Also ATA or Atmospheres Absolute Unit of Absolute Pressure Equivalent to Standard Atmospheric Pressure Atmospheric Diving Suit Also adds A small one-man articulated submersible of anthropomorphic form which resembles a suit of armor, with elaborate pressure joints to allow articulation while maintaining an internal pressure of one atmosphere Attack swimmer See combat swimmer Attendant See dive as attendant Autonomous diver N14153-2, ISO 24801-2 Standard competence for recreational scuba diver. The level 2 Autonomous diver has sufficient knowledge, skill and experience to make dives, in open water, which do not require in-water decompression stops, to a recommended maximum depth of 20 meters with other scuba divers of the same level, only when appropriate support is available at the surface, and under conditions that are equal or better than the conditions where they were trained without supervision of a scuba instructor, unless they have additional training or are accompanied by a dive leader. Topic B B ring A small plate with a slot for a webbing belt and two side-by-side -side holes for clipping on equipment, generally used similarly to a D ring in combination with a belt slider as an alternative to a butterfly slider. Back gas Breathing gas carried by a scuba diver in back-mounted cylinders. Generally the primary breathing gas for the bottom or longest sector of a dive. Back kick Backward kick A finning technique for moving backwards. Not an easy, powerful or elegant kick, but useful in many situations. The fins are angled outwards in opposite directions with the legs straight, then swept upwards and towards the diver by bending the knees in the power stroke. The knees may move downwards a bit at the same time by bending at the hips for stability. The return stroke feathers the fins by pointing them backwards in line with the body axis, to reduce forward thrust until the legs are straight again. Back mount Back mount The practice of carrying a scuba set on the back of the diver, supported by a harness, backplate or stabilizer jacket BCD. Compare with side mount Backplate a plate, normally made from metal, which rests against the diver's back, and to which the primary scuba cylinders are attached. Held to the body by harness straps over the shoulders and round the waist. Sometimes also crotch straps and chest straps. 
usually used with a back inflation buoyancy compensator. Backpack A rigid or semi-rigid structure similar in function to a backplate, usually made of molded plastic, but sometimes of metal, used either as a stiffener and reinforcement for a jacket-style buoyancy compensator, or as the basis of a scuba harness independent of a buoyancy compensator. The backpack supports and stabilizes the scuba cylinder on the diver's back. Backup light Dive light carried as a spare to be used in case of failure of the primary light. Backup regulator Also secondary, safe second or octopus. A second regulator connected to a cylinder or manifolded twin set. Backward roll entry Backward roll Also back roll entry Water entry method in which the seated diver rolls backwards off the side of the boat, allowing the scuba cylinders to strike the water first. Bailout block See also gas block, or gas switching block. A gas switching block specifically intended for connection of a bailout set to the main gas supply, which may be scuba or surface supply, which allows the diver to switch from main gas supply to emergency gas supply while continuously using the same mouthpiece, regulator second stage, full face mask or helmet. A bailout block is generally used on open circuit breathing apparatus, the equivalent function on a rebreather is provided by a bailout valve, BOV. The bailout block may be mounted on the side of a diving helmet or full face mask, or may be mounted in a convenient place on the diver's harness, and includes a bailout valve, used to select the gas source, and one or more non-return valves to ensure that the emergency gas supply is directed only to the diver. Bailout cylinder A scuba cylinder carried by an underwater diver for use as an emergency supply of breathing gas in the event of a primary gas supply failure. Bailout valve 1. An open circuit demand valve built into a rebreather mouthpiece, or other part of the breathing loop, which can be isolated while the diver is using the rebreather to recycle breathing gas, and opened at the same time as isolating the breathing loop when the diver bails out to open circuit. 2. A valve which opens the gas supply from the bailout cylinder of a surface supplied diver, used in case of surface gas failure, usually mounted on the side of a diving helmet or full face mask, or on a manifold block on the diver's harness. Bailout set Bailout system An independent breathing gas supply carried by a diver for use in case of failure of the main gas supply. Usually consists of a bailout cylinder with a first stage regulator, and either a second stage regulator or connected to a bailout block or bailout valve. Q, v. A submersible pressure gauge is also usually provided. Balanced regulator. Regulator designed to provide a consistent demand effort not affected by cylinder gas pressure or depth. Band mask. A heavy duty full face mask with many of the characteristics of a lightweight demand helmet. In structure it is the front section of a lightweight helmet from above the faceplate to below the demand valve and exhaust ports, including the bailout block and communications connections on the sides. This rigid frame is attached to a neoprene hood by a metal clamping band, hence the name. Bands See cylinder bands Bar See also bar unit. Metric unit of pressure commonly used in diving, equal to 100 kPa, and nearly equal to standard atmospheric pressure. Barodontalgia Tooth pain caused by pressure difference Barotrauma Injury caused by pressure difference Baseline 1. Also tank factor numeric value computed for a cylinder or manifolded set that relates volume and pressure in the imperial system of units. Computed by dividing nominal capacity cubic feet by cylinder working pressure psi to express cubic feet of volume per psi of fill pressure sometimes multiplied by 100 to give cubic feet per 100 psi. Used to convert cylinder pressure to free gas volume. 2. A line that is a base for measurement or for construction, see datum calculations or comparisons. 3. A data set which is a point of reference engineering or science for later data. Basket. See diving stage. Bat wing. Buoyancy and trim wing. A back-mounted buoyancy compensator cell used with sidemount harness. The buoyancy volume is mostly over the lower back. 
BC BCD See buoyancy compensator BCD blow-up Uncontrolled buoyant ascent caused by inability to release gas from the buoyancy compensator faster than it expands due to pressure reduction of ascent. Beach master See also dive marshal A person on the beach who records when divers enter and exit the water. Typically used during recreational scuba training to keep track of the students, watch the gear, and provide assistance when required. Bell 1. Diving bell Q, V 2. Short tug on a lifeline, used in pairs, for signaling purposes. Bell bounce dive Surface-oriented diving operation in which the divers are transported in and deployed from a closed bell, and are either decompressed in the bell at the surface or transferred under pressure to a deck decompression chamber for decompression. Bell cursor Mechanism or structure for guiding and constraining the motion of a bell when in the close vicinity of the deployment platform to improve handling in bad weather. Bell diving 1. Any diving operation in which the divers travel in or work from a diving bell. 2. Diving operations in which divers are transported in and deployed from a closed bell, either as a surface-oriented bell bounce or saturation dive. Bell harness. A safety harness made of strong webbing, which is fastened around a diver over the exposure suit, and allows the diver to be lifted without risk of falling out of the harness. Bellman. Standby diver deployed in the diving bell. Bell run. The part of a bell dive operation from bell lock off to bell lock on to and from the life support system. Bell stage. A framework extending below a closed bell which keeps the base of the pressure vessel off the bottom sufficiently to provide clearance for the divers to use the bottom hatch when the bell is resting on the bottom or on the clump weight. Bell umbilical. The combined supply and return hoses and cables for life support, power and communications between a diving bell and the support platform. Belt slider. Also belt slide, triglide, weight stop, weight slider. Hardware item with two parallel slots which is fitted to harness or weight belt webbing to prevent other components such as D-rings and weights from sliding along the webbing. Benign water. Benign conditions. Sometimes also referred to as confined water. Environments of low risk, where it is extremely unlikely or impossible for the diver to get lost or entrapped, or be exposed to hazards other than the basic underwater environment. Bent D-ring. A D-ring which has been bent about 45 degrees near the straight section on both sides, forcing it to project slightly from the harness when pushed to one side, allowing easier attachment of clips. Bends. Decompression sickness, injury caused by bubble formation in the body tissues after hyperbaric exposure. Bibs Built-in breathing system. A demand breathing gas supply system with external exhaust used to provide chamber occupants with breathing gases other than the gas used to pressurize the chamber. Used for treatment gases and emergency breathing gas if the chamber is contaminated. Billy ring 3D rings welded together along their straight sides so that one is perpendicular to the other two. This uses the two flat rings to maintain the third in an upright position when mounted on harness webbing, allowing it to be more easily accessed to clip on stage cylinders. Named after Captain Billy Deans. BK hook Also BK hook or BK safety hook a type of safety lifting hook which is held closed when under load by a lever system where the weight of the load holds the bill of the hook against the safety latch. Blending stick Mixing tube in which gases are continuously mixed prior to intake by a compressor, usually at atmospheric pressure. Usually refers to manufacture of nitrox from air with added oxygen, but also used for trimix. Gas mixture is usually continuously analyzed at the exit of the blending stick to monitor composition. Blind traverse Passing through a cave from one entrance to a different exit which the diver has not used before. Block adapter Screw in adapter fitting which is fitted to a 200 of a bar DIN pillar valve to allow connection of a yoke regulator or filling whip. Blowdown Procedure of pressurizing a diving chamber or saturation habitat. 
Blowout Uncontrolled release of crude oil and or natural gas from a well after pressure control systems have failed Blowout preventer Also BOP A large, specialized valve used to seal, control and monitor oil and gas wells. Generally operated remotely by hydraulic ram Blue hole a sink hole in a lake or the sea that is often the entrance to a cave. Blue holes in the sea are subject to tides so that their flows regularly reverse. Blue water diving Underwater diving in mid-water where the bottom is not visible and is out of diving range. Bolt snap Also piston bolt A metal connector comprising a hook with a spring-loaded axial sliding rod which must be manually retracted to allow the hook to be clipped onto something or removed. May be single or double-ended, and if single-ended is usually fitted with a swivel ring opposite the jaws. Bomb Commercial diver slang for high-pressure gas storage cylinder of around 50 liters water capacity, also known as a J. Bondage wing See bungee wing Derogatory term for bungee wing based on fetishist terminology Bonnet the upper part of a copper helmet which encloses the diver's head and is sealed to the lower part or corslet Q, v. Booster Booster pump See also compressor Machine used to increase pressure of a gas. Usually refers to the case where inlet pressure is above ambient pressure already. Bop stack Blowout preventer stack, an assembly of several blowout preventer rams which may be used to shut off a well. Bottom gas The gas breathed by the diver at the deepest part of the dive. Compare with travel gas and decompression gas. Bottom time Time used in calculating decompression obligation from decompression tables. For most tables this is defined as the elapsed time from starting the descent to starting the final ascent to the surface, excluding ascent and decompression time. Bottom timer Device used to measure and record the total time spent underwater during a dive. They do not generally only record bottom time Q, v. Bounce dive 1. Also surface-oriented dive, in commercial diving, bounce diving is the alternative to saturation diving. Any dive where the diver is decompressed directly after the dive. 2. In recreational diving, a bounce dive is a descent to maximum depth and then a direct ascent back to the surface with the minimal bottom time, in a dive profile resembling a spike. BOV See bailout valve Bolin Not used to form a secure, non-slipping loop at the end of a line. Boyle's Law Relationship between pressure and volume at constant temperature in an ideal gas Breakdown room an area in a cave where a large amount of material has fallen from the overhead. Breakout The point at which an object being lifted which is partly embedded in the bottom sediments overcomes the adhesion of the sediments and the force required to lift it drops rapidly to the apparent weight of the object. Breathing gas Also breathing mixture Gas supplied to the diver to breathe, either directly to the diver or to the hyperbaric environment of the diving bell, dive chamber or saturation habitat. Colloquially just gas or mix. Breathing loop The gas flow path in a rebreather comprising the diver's lungs, the mouthpiece, valves, hoses, counterlungs and scrubber through which gas is rebreathed. Broco cutter a type of thermal lance initiated by an electric arc, in common use for underwater cutting work. Bruv. Baited remote underwater video. A system for assessing fish populations using video cameras to record fish attracted to a bait canister. BTV. Bayance tuber volontaire, voluntary opening of the eustachian tubes to equalize the middle ear. Bubble models. Decompression models based on the assumption that bubbles will form during non-symptomatic decompression. Buckle pumping. See glossopharyngeal insufflation. Buddy bottle. Bailout cylinder carried by a scuba diver, particularly when diving solo. Buddy breathing. Sharing breathing gas from one demand valve by two or more divers, generally after an out-of-gas emergency. 
Buddy check A procedure carried out by scuba divers using the buddy system where each diver checks that the other's diving equipment is configured, fitted, and functioning correctly just before entering the water to dive. Buddy diving A safety procedure where two or three divers monitor each other constantly during a dive and provide assistance or rescue when needed. Buddy line a short line between two divers, used to maintain contact during a dive, generally in poor visibility, or other conditions where the divers might become separated and not be able to quickly locate each other. Buddy system A procedure where two divers look out for the safety of each other, and give assistance if the other gets into difficulty. Bowman tables Bowman algorithm Diving tables and decompression algorithm on which the tables are based, and some dive computers are programmed, based on the dissolved gas decompression model derived and tested by Dr. A. A. Bullman. Bundle A set of gas cylinders fastened together for transportation and manifolded for use as a unit, also cylinder bundle. Bungee side mount. See also ring bungee length of shock cord used to restrain the top end of side mount cylinders and keep them tucked in at the diver's shoulder while swimming. Usually clipped to the shoulder D rings of the harness and looped around the cylinder valve. May be attached to the back of the harness between the shoulder blades, or run continuous from one shoulder D ring, around the back under the arms to the other shoulder D ring. Bungee wing Back inflation buoyancy compensator with shock cord lacing or loops which exert a force on the bladder to oppose expansion during inflation. Buoyancy 1. Main article, buoyancy. Upward force on an object immersed in a fluid due to pressure exerted over the immersed surface. 2. Resultant upward force of buoyancy and weight of an object immersed in a fluid. Buoyancy check. Procedure to test and adjust weights carried by an underwater diver. The diver wears all the personal equipment to be used for the planned dive, with the scuba tanks nearly empty, and the buoyancy compensator empty, in shallow water of the same density as expected on the dive, and adds or removes weights until neutrally buoyant. After the buoyancy check it is usual to distribute the weights for safety, trim and convenience. Buoyancy compensator also BC, BCD, buoyancy compensator device, ABLJ, horse collar, stabilizer jacket, stab jacket or wing. An airtight bladder worn by a diver which can be filled with air and vented to adjust and control the buoyancy of the diver. Buoyancy control. The skill of maintaining the appropriate buoyancy at any time during a dive. Burn tester. Device for measuring the actual capacity of a battery relative to its nominal capacity, and the associated functional time for the device that the battery is powering. Burn time. The effective use time of a battery-powered device. Mainly used in reference to dive lights and scooters. Burst disc. A non-reclosing pressure relief device used to protect a diving cylinder from overpressurization. Butterfly clip. A type of bolt snap with a tapered guide gate opening formed by a protrusion on both the piston and the fixed sides of the gate. Butterfly slider. Butterfly D-ring. A plate with two D-shaped cutouts on opposite sides of two to four parallel longitudinal slots for webbing. Used at the top back of the crotch strap in place of a butt plate Q, V, on minimalist side mount harnesses as a clip on point for equipment. Butt plate. A rigid or fairly stiff flexible lower extension to a backplate or other scuba harness supporting butt plate rails, used for clipping off the lower end of side mount cylinders to the harness. Topic C Cage diving Diving in a cage designed to protect the diver from potentially aggressive large marine animals, usually sharks. Com. Catenary anchor leg mooring. Named for the catenary curve of the anchor cables that hold the buoy in position. Also referred to as single buoy mooring, monobuoy or loading buoy. Cam band. A strap, usually of webbing, with a cam action tensioner buckle generally used to secure a diving cylinder to a backplate, stabilizer jacket BCD or other form of diving harness. Camel. 
A closed lifting bag, usually cylindrical in form. Canister light. Dive light comprising a light head connected to a battery canister by a cable. Canoe diving. Scuba diving from canoes, used when the dive site is beyond convenient swimming distances. Carbon dioxide poisoning. The toxic effects of carbon dioxide, due to incomplete elimination of carbon dioxide resulting from skip breathing, excessive work of breathing, scrubber failure in a rebreather system, or inadequate ventilation in a diving chamber or free flow helmet. Occasionally caused by contaminated gas supply. Carbon monoxide poisoning. The toxic effects of carbon monoxide, usually due to contaminated breathing gas supply. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation An emergency procedure which is performed in an effort to manually preserve intact brain function until further measures are taken to restore spontaneous blood circulation and breathing in a person in cardiac arrest. CAS See also critical pressure Critical air supply, the amount of breathing air required to safely exit a penetration dive. When the air supply reaches this level the dive has reached a planned turning point. Cascade filling. Decanting from several storage cylinders in succession, generally using a procedure to maximize charge pressures. Often used in partial pressure gas blending. Caustic cocktail. A mixture of water and carbon dioxide absorbent caused by flooding the scrubber, and which may reach the diver's mouth through the breathing loop. The alkalinity depends on the absorbent used. Cave A naturally occurring cavity in bedrock, or an underwater passage not illuminated by natural daylight, large enough to be entered by a human. Statute 810.13 of the Florida Legislature defines a cave as, any void, cavity, recess, or system of interconnecting passages which naturally occurs beneath the surface of the earth or within a cliff or ledge, including natural subsurface water and drainage systems but not including any mine, tunnel, aqueduct, or other man-made excavation, and which is large enough to permit a person to enter. The word, cave. Includes any cavern, natural pit, or sinkhole which is an extension of an entrance to a cave. Cave arrow. Directional line markers which point the way to an exit. Cave fill. Filling a scuba cylinder to a pressure significantly above the rated safe working pressure, charging pressure. Illegal in some jurisdictions, and increases risk of catastrophic failure. Cave line. 1. See distance line. 2. Small diameter braided synthetic cordage used for this purpose. Cave reel. A reel specifically made for cave diving, used to lay and recover large lengths of cave line which is used as a guide line to find the exit or a permanent guide line. Cavern. 1. Two or more interconnected underground rooms or passages in bedrock, each large enough to be entered by a human. 2. The initial room of an underwater cave system that is illuminated by natural daylight. 3. A naturally occurring cavity in bedrock or an underwater passage, large enough to be entered by a human, which is illuminated by natural daylight, or in which it is possible from all points to see the exit by natural daylight. Cavern dive. Visibility greater than 40 feet, maximum penetration of 130 feet, maximum depth of 70 feet, and always within the ambient sunlight area. No passing through restrictions. See card or certification card. Plastic card issued to a diver by a certification agency as evidence of completed diver training and experience required for the level of certification. CCR. Closed circuit rebreathe, see also ECCR, MCCR. CCUBA. Closed circuit underwater breathing apparatus. Military alternative term for CCR. Ceiling. Solid overhead or decompression restriction to a safe direct vertical ascent to the surface. Cenote. A sinkhole in Mexico. Generally with vertical overhanging walls or shafts with water that open into a cave system. CF Clusterfuck Charlie Foxtrot Occasion when the situation diverges notably and usually uncontrollably from the plan, sometimes involving immediate hazard to life and limb, and often involving poor judgment. CGA 
The Compressed Gas Association is an American trade association for the industrial and medical gas supply industries. The CGA publishes standards and practices that codify industry practices. In cases where government regulation is not specific, CGA documents are considered authoritative. CGA V1 standard for compressed gas cylinder valve outlet and inlet connections covers diving cylinder valve outlets. Safety devices like burst disc overpressure protection are specified by the CGA standard S1.1, CGA 850, Compressed Gas Association Valve Standard CGA 850 is the standard for the scuba cylinder valve outlet for yoke connector, chain chaser, ring or hook shaped components used for installing and recovering conventional mooring systems. The chaser is hooked around the chain and pulled in the direction of the anchor until it slides onto the anchor shank and is stopped by the crown. The chaser is then used to break the anchor out by pulling directly upwards. Chamber dive Simulated dive in a hyperbaric chamber pressurized to equivalent pressure to the nominal depth of the dive. Chamber operator Person competent to operate a diving chamber Charging pressure Pressure stamped on a container for a permanent gas to indicate the maximum gauge pressure measured or corrected to 15 degrees Celsius that may be applied at the time of filling. Charles's Law Relation of volume to temperature at constant pressure of an ideal gas Chicken vest Sleeveless neoprene wetsuit vest with attached hood Chimney A section of a cave that is vertical or near vertical and like a shaft Chinese lantern Connection between pipeline end manifold PLEM and single point mooring buoy SPM using two to four separate flexible underwater hose strings Choker side mount. A strap around the neck of a side mount cylinder used to hold the bolt snap closer to the neck so that the head of the cylinder stays closer to the diver's armpit. The choker can be a small webbing strap with a sliding buckle for adjustment, so it can be tightened to bring the clip closer to the neck or slacked off while in use. Chokes A symptom of decompression sickness manifested by shortness of breath, caused by a large number of venous gas bubbles in the lung capillaries which interfere with gas exchange. Christmas tree Also tree an assembly of valves, spools, and fittings installed on top of the well head and used primarily to control the flow, usually oil or gas, out of the well. Christmas tree ladder A boarding ladder which has a single central rail with rigid cantilevered rungs to each side, allowing use while wearing swim fins. Cristo lube Usually Cristo Lube MCG 111, an oxygen-compatible lubricant suitable for use in breathing apparatus in oxygen service. Circuit Cave dive route in which there is a one-way segment. The circuit can be simple or complex depending on the number of jumps involved. Civils See inshore diving Closed bell Also dry bell a closed or dry bell is a pressure vessel for human occupation which is lowered into the sea to the workplace, equalized in pressure to the environment, and open to allow the divers in and out. Divers may be decompressed in the bell or transferred under pressure to a hyperbaric chamber at the surface. Clump weight A weight used to keep the guide wires of a diving bell aligned. Code of practice a systematic set of professional standards or written guidelines and rules of procedures to be followed by members of a profession, trade, occupation or organization. A code of practice may be compiled and agreed on by members of a particular profession or written guidelines issued by an official body or a professional association to its members to help them comply with its ethical standards. A code of practice does not normally have the force of law, but is often required or compulsory practice for members of an organization. Coded welder Welder who is trained and qualified and assessed as competent for a specified type of welding under specified conditions. Combat swimmer Person trained in scuba diving or swimming underwater in a military capacity which can include combat. Command signal a signal from a diver in a team that requires a response from another diver. There are three, are you okay, hold, and surface. Commercial diving. 
Working under pressure, occupational activity where gas is breathed at pressure in excess of atmospheric pressure, usually underwater. Completion The process of making a well ready for production. Competent person Person who is able to perform a task or operation safely and according to required procedures. May require formal assessment or accreditation, or registration with government body. Compressed air Air at a pressure greater than ambient. Compressed neoprene Foam neoprene that has been compressed to reduce volume. Used for dry suits which are less affected by depth-induced buoyancy changes. Compression the process of increasing the ambient pressure on a diver by descending into the water or pressurizing the chamber. Compression arthralgia. Pain in the joints caused by exposure to high ambient pressure at a relatively high rate of compression. Compressor. Machine which pressurizes gas. Generally intake gas is at ambient pressure, outlet gas at higher pressure. High pressure breathing air compressor output pressure is usually 200 to 330 bars. Compressor log Book or file containing records of compressor operation, filling of cylinders and maintenance records. Compressor operator Person who operates a compressor, either to fill cylinders, or to provide breathing air to surface supplied divers. Confined water Water that is enclosed and bounded sufficiently for safe training purposes. Generally implies that conditions are not affected by geographic or weather conditions, and that divers can not get lost. Condensate. Liquid resulting from phase change from gas due to cooling or pressure change. Conduit. Tunnel or passage in a cave system. Conservative decompression. Decompression profile tending to minimize risk of decompression sickness at the cost of more decompression time for a given pre-ascent dive profile. Constant depth blackout. Constant pressure blackout. Also isobaric blackout. A freediving blackout which occurs while the diver maintains a near constant shallow depth, where reduction of oxygen partial pressure due to ascent is not a factor. Usually induced by pre-dive hyperventilation. Also referred to as shallow water blackout, which is an ambiguous term. Constriction See restriction Contents gauge See submersible pressure gauge Continuous decompression Decompression without stops. Instead of a fairly rapid ascent rate to the first stop, followed by a period at static depth during the stop, the ascent is slower, but without officially stopping. Ascent rate may vary with depth, usually slowing as the depth reduces. Contraindications to diving Conditions usually medical, that indicate that a person should not dive. Control compartment The tissue compartment that dictates the ascent profile of a given dive because it is theoretically the highest risk compartment for DCS. Controlled buoyant lift a rescue technique used by scuba divers to raise an incapacitated diver to the surface from depth. Controlled emergency swimming ascent. Also CESA. An emergency technique for surfacing, usually when no breathable gas is available at depth. The diver fins upward while gently exhaling to keep expanding air in the lungs from causing lung expansion injuries. Cookie. Personal non-directional line markers that mark specific locations, or the direction of one's own exit at line intersections. Copper hat Copper helmet A diving helmet of traditional design and construction, usually made from spun or beaten copper, with brass or bronze fittings. There are usually two main sub-assemblies, the bonnet is the roughly spherical part which covers the head and is provided with viewports, valves and various other fittings, and the corslet, which rests on the upper torso of the diver, and to which the bonnet is connected when in use, and which may be sealed to the suit and ballasted to compensate for the buoyancy of the airspace inside the helmet. Corslet Breastplate part of a copper helmet and some other heavy helmets, which clamps to the diving suit, and to which the helmet bonnet is clamped, screwed or bolted. Counterlung Flexible bag or bellows in a rebreather which compensates for the change in volume in the loop during breathing. CPR See cardiopulmonary resuscitation 
Cracking pressure Pressure required to open a valve. Often applied to the difference in pressure over the diaphragm of a demand valve required to open the valve to start flow. This may differ significantly from the pressure difference required to keep the valve open once flow has been initiated, and the pressure to keep the valve open may vary with flow rate. Critical air supply CCAS Critical difference hypothesis Hypothesis that bubble formation during decompression will not occur if a critical pressure difference between tissue gas tension and inspired gas partial pressure is not exceeded. Critical pressure Cylinder gas pressure which determines a safe limit to an underwater activity on scuba, such as start of ascent or turnaround during a penetration. Critical ratio hypothesis Hypothesis that bubble formation during decompression will not occur if a critical ratio of tissue gas tension and inspired gas partial pressure for a given gas is not exceeded. Critical volume hypothesis Hypothesis that symptoms of decompression sickness will not be evident if a critical volume of tissue gas bubbles is not exceeded. Crotch strap Harness strap that passes from the lower part of the harness at the back, through between the diver's legs, to the front of the harness, effectively securing the harness from sliding up along the torso. In safety harness this is often in two parts and allows the diver to be lifted by the harness without risk of falling out. Crushed neoprene Proprietary material for dry suits manufactured by DUI in a process where the foam neoprene suit material is degassed by exposure to high hydrostatic pressure to reduce the volume after assembly. Less buoyancy variation with depth as the material is less compressible after the treatment. Cuff dump Dump valve mounted on a dry suit cuff, usually relatively small and non-adjustable. Sialum Trademark name Sialum is a solid ester whose oxidation products are responsible for the chemiluminescence in a glow stick. Cyanosis The appearance of a blue or purple coloration of the skin or mucous membranes due to the tissues near the skin surface being low on oxygen. Cylinder 1. Diving cylinder, refillable compressed gas container of water capacity between 0, 5L and 150L. 2. That part of a reciprocating compressor or booster in which the piston is moved to compress the air. The internal space is cylindrical with a circular section. The external surface is usually thin for air cooling. Cylinder boot Rubber or plastic cover for the base of a scuba cylinder to protect it from abrasion, and in the case of domed end cylinders, to allow it to stand upright. Cylinder bundle See bundle Cylinder valve Valve fitted to a compressed gas cylinder to control gas flow into and out of the cylinder. Also pillar valve. Topic D. Dalton's law. Gas law describing the relation of component pressures of gases in a mixture to the total pressure. Dan. See divers alert network. Dangley. Derogatory. Any part of a diver's equipment that dangles in a position that might impact the bottom or get caught on the surroundings. DCAP. Decompression Analysis and Computation Program, Decompression Planning Software by Bill Hamilton. DCIEM. Defense and Civil Institute of Environmental Medicine, Toronto, Canada. DCIEM Tables. Decompression tables based on the Kid Stubbs model, developed and published by the Defense and Civil Institute of Environmental Medicine. DCI See Decompression Illness DDC Deck Decompression Chamber, a twin-lock hyperbaric chamber suitable for surface decompression and emergency recompression. Large enough to hold at least two occupants, one of them lying down. DCS See Decompression Sickness Dead man anchor. A heavy weight used to control the rise of a lift bag after breakout, or to capsize it to prevent a runaway lift. Dead space or dead volume. 1. The volume of a breathing apparatus which holds exhaled air, which is subsequently inhaled directly, without passing through a scrubber to remove carbon dioxide and without oxygen addition. 2. 
The volume of inhaled air, which does not take part in gas exchange either because it remains in the conducting airways or in alveoli that are poorly perfused, decant to transfer gas between cylinders by differential pressure. No energy is input, flow will stop when pressures are equalized. Decompression Reduction in ambient pressure experienced by the diver during the ascent at the end of a dive or hyperbaric exposure, and the process of allowing dissolved inert gases to be eliminated from the body tissues during this reduction in pressure. Decompression algorithm Specified step-by-step -step procedures used to calculate the decompression stops needed for a given dive profile. The algorithm can be used to generate decompression schedules for a particular dive profile, decompression tables for more general use, or be implemented in dive computer software. Decompression buoy CDSMB Decompression chamber Hyperbaric chamber used for decompressing divers and emergency therapeutic recompression Decompression gas Gas breathed during decompression with a composition designed to accelerate decompression, usually by an increased oxygen content. Decompression illness Illness caused by decompression. Includes decompression sickness and arterial gas embolism due to lung overexpansion barotrauma. Decompression obligation Theoretical requirement to make decompression stops during ascent based on the dive profile and the decompression model in use. Decompression schedule A specific ascent rate in series of increasingly shallower decompression stops that a diver uses to allow inert gases to be eliminated from the body tissues during ascent after a specific hyperbaric exposure, to reduce the risk of decompression sickness. Decompression sickness Also DCS, diver's disease, the Benz or Kyson disease a condition arising from dissolved inert gases coming out of solution during decompression as bubbles in the tissues, organs and blood vessels of the body causing symptoms ranging from rashes to death. Decompression stop A pause during the ascent phase of a dive that a diver spends at a constant relatively shallow depth to allow safe release of inert gases from the body tissues to avoid decompression sickness. Decompression tables Printed cards or booklets that allow divers to determine a decompression schedule for a particular dive profile and breathing gas. Decompression trapeze Also decompression bar A horizontal bar or bars suspended at the depth of intended decompression stops by buoys used to make decompression stops more comfortable and more secure and provide the diver's surface cover with a visual reference for the diver's position. Deep stops Decompression stops which are deeper than the deepest stops required by decompression algorithms using dissolved phase models. Deep water blackout 1. Freediving, an ambiguous alternative term for blackout of ascent following a deep breath hold dive, in which loss of consciousness occurs as the surface is approached, or at the surface, caused by cerebral hypoxia arising from the rapid drop in the partial pressure of oxygen in the lungs during ascent as the ambient pressure drops and the gas in the lungs expands to surface volume. 2. Scuba and surface supplied diving, loss of consciousness in deep air diving at depths below 50 meters with no clear primary cause, associated with nitrogen narcosis, a neurological impairment with anesthetic effects caused by high partial pressure of nitrogen dissolved in nerve tissue, and possibly acute oxygen toxicity. The term is not in widespread use at present. Dehydration A condition where the water content of the body is reduced, Delta P Delta P Delta P Environments where a pressure difference causes flow. Usually refers to cases where the flow is likely to entrain and pull the diver into an enclosed space. Demand helmet Diving helmet which provides gas supply flow only when the diver inhales. Demand valve Mechanism for providing the user with breathing gas flow only when required. Depth gauge A pressure gauge calibrated to measure depth as a function of ambient pressure. Descending line See also jackstay, downline and shotline. 
A substantial heavily weighted line attached to a secure point at the surface, such as a boat or buoy, which can be used by a diver to control position and depth during descent and ascent. Developed pressure The pressure of the compressed gas in a cylinder at a temperature other than the nominal temperature at which charging pressure is specified. Usually refers to pressure when fully charged at a variation in temperature. DGPS Differential Global Positioning System An enhancement to global positioning system that provides improved location accuracy. DGPS uses a network of fixed, ground-based reference stations to broadcast the difference between the positions indicated by the satellite systems and the known fixed positions. Diamond Reef System Diamond Reef System is a diving skills program that uses a set of standardized portable obstacles to train and evaluate buoyancy skills and educate scuba divers on how to interact with coral reefs. Diffusion Limited Decompression hypothesis that the uptake and elimination of inert gas is limited by diffusion rates in the tissues. Diluent Also sometimes dil Gas mixture used to dilute the oxygen in the loop of a closed circuit rebreather to a partial pressure suited to the depth. DIN fitting Also DIN valve, DIN regulator, DIN thread Usually refers to G5 eighths X14 TPI parallel thread fittings used to connect a cylinder valve to a filling connection or regulator first stage. Available in 200 bars and 300 bars versions which should only be interconnectable in safe combinations. DIN plug Screw in adapter which can be used with many recent 200-240ths of a bar DIN cylinder valves to allow connection of yoke regulators or filling whips. DIR Also doing it right A holistic approach to scuba diving, which encompasses several essential elements, including fundamental diving skills, teamwork, physical fitness, and the use of streamlined and minimalistic equipment configurations. Distance line Also penetration line or guideline A line used by scuba divers as a means of returning to a safe starting point in conditions of low visibility, water currents or where pilotage is difficult. Dive computer Also decompression computer A device used by a scuba diver to measure the time and depth of a dive so that a safe ascent profile can be calculated and displayed so that the diver can avoid decompression sickness. Dive factor Factor used in gas consumption estimates which allows for increased breathing rate due to conditions other than depth. Range from 1.1 for relaxed, stress-free conditions to greater than 3.0 for heavy work. Dive flag Flag used to indicate that there are divers in the water. There are two versions, the international code letter flag, alpha, and the red flag with white diagonal bar. Dive leader N14153-3, ISO 24801-3 Standard Competence for Recreational Scuba Diver. A Level 3 Dive Leader has sufficient knowledge, skill and experience to plan, organize and conduct their dives and lead other recreational scuba divers in open water, to conduct any specialized recreational scuba diving activities for which they have received appropriate training, plan and execute emergency procedures appropriate for the diving environment and activities. If diving and environmental conditions are significantly different from those previously experienced, they require an appropriate orientation with regard to local environmental conditions, and must have appropriate specialized training and experience to lead on dives which have more demanding operational parameters. Dive Marshal Recreational, club diving equivalent of a diving supervisor. Person who organizes and plans a group dive outing for recreational divers, assesses risk, logs divers into and out of the water and is available at the site to manage incident response. Divemaster A professional level recreational diver who leads a group of less experienced or visiting divers underwater. Dive profile The variation of depth with elapsed time during a dive, often depicted as a graph. Dive tables See decompression tables. Dive time. The total elapsed time spent underwater during a dive. Dive timer. An automatically operated electronic timer which records the elapsed time from the start of a dive. 
Diver Training Manual A publication containing instructional material for diver training. This may relate to a specific certification or a range of certifications, and is usually published either by a certification agency or a diving school for their own use, but may also be published and sold for general consumption. Diver Transfer Chamber Hyperbaric chamber connecting other component chambers of a saturation life support system which may be at different pressures. Divers Alert Network Also Dan a non-profit organization for assisting divers in need and medical research on recreational scuba diving safety. Divers attendant Also dive tender and line attendant Person who assists the working diver to prepare for a dive, get in and out of the water, and to undress from the diving equipment, and who tends the lifeline or umbilical while the diver is underwater. Diving bell a rigid chamber suspended from a cable and used to transport divers to depth and back to the surface. Diving chamber 1. A simple form of submersible vessel to take divers underwater and to provide a temporary base and retrieval system in the depths diving bell. 2. A land or ship-based hyperbaric chamber to artificially reproduce the hyperbaric conditions under the sea. Diving contractor Legal persona responsible for commercial diving operations Diving depth Generally the maximum depth to which the diver is exposed during a dive. Diving heavy See also overweighting Practice of carrying significantly more ballast weight than necessary to neutralize buoyancy. Common in professional diving operations where the diver needs to remain in firm syntact with the bottom to work effectively, and is tethered by a lifeline or umbilical to a control point at a place of safety, which is managed by a tender. Diving Manual 1. See Operations Manual 2. See Diver Training Manual Diving Regulator See Regulator Diving Response the diving response exists in all air-breathing vertebrates. It is a series of autonomic responses to apnea which are strengthened by facial cooling and hypoxia. It consists of peripheral vasoconstriction and associated hypertension, vagally induced bradycardia and reduction of cardiac output. This appears to preferentially supply oxygen to the brain. Another aspect is splenic contraction which increases hemoglobin content of the blood. Diving Safety Officer the person who administers a United States University's research diving safety program. Diving signals Hand sign and light sign system used by scuba divers to communicate when underwater Diving stage Also known as the basket A platform on which a diver stands which is hoisted into the water, lowered to the workplace at the bottom, and then hoisted up again to return the diver to the surface and lift him out of the water. The diving stage is particularly effective for controlling rate of descent and ascent. Diving superintendent Person with overall responsibility for commercial diving operations at a large installation. Diving supervisor Person in charge of, and responsible for safety of a commercial diving operation. Usually trained, assessed as competent, certified and formally appointed by the diving contractor. Diving system the complete set of equipment necessary to support a diving operation. DMAC Diving Medical Advisory Committee, an independent body of diving medical specialists from Northern Europe which provides advice about medical and certain safety aspects of commercial diving. DMT Diving Medical Technician, a paramedic specializing in diving-related conditions. Dome Port a domed window of optical quality glass or plastic which covers the front of an underwater camera or video housing. Donating the octopus. Donating the primary. Donate the primary. Rescue technique where the donor of breathing gas provides it via the primary second stage, the one from which the donor was breathing, as it is known to be working and providing the correct gas. The donor then switches to their backup DV, often stowed under the chin by a bungee necklace with a breakaway connection. Donating the secondary. Donate the secondary. 
Rescue technique where the donor of breathing gas provides it via the secondary, or octopus, second stage, and continues to breathe off the primary. Donkey dick Slang term for the corrugated buoyancy compensator inflation and deflation hose. Doppler bubble detection Ultrasonic signals reflected from bubble surfaces to identify and quantify gas bubbles present in venous blood. Dwarf arrow Also line arrow. Triangular plastic line marker with two slots used to indicate the direction of the exit. Downline Downline a rope leading from the surface down to the underwater workplace which allows a commercial diver to travel directly to and from the job site and to control rate of descent and ascent in the same way as using a shot line. Also sometimes called a jackstay. A downline used for open ocean diving is much the same as a shot line Q, v, but does not reach all the way to the bottom. An open ocean downline is weighted at the bottom, and attached to a substantial float at the surface, which may be tethered to the boat. It may be marked at intervals by knots or loops, and may be attached to decompression trapeze system. In some cases a sea anchor may be used to limit wind drift, particularly if attached to a boat with significant windage. Downstream In the direction of flow. Displaced from the reference point in the direction of flow. Downstream valve Valve in which the closure is downstream of the orifice. Pressure in the line tends to assist in opening the valve. When spring-loaded a downstream valve may open automatically if the pressure difference is excessive, thus functioning as a pressure relief valve. Downtime Period when planned activities cannot be done due to unforeseen or uncontrollable circumstances. DP alert Status of the dynamic positioning system regarding positional accuracy and reliability. Green indicates normal operation, yellow indicates degraded operation and red indicates emergency. DP footprint Dynamic positioning footprint, the area around the nominal position to which a dynamically positioned vessel is constrained by the DP system. DPV 1. Diver propulsion vehicle 2. Dynamically positioned vessel D ring a ring shaped like a capital D, usually of stainless steel, stitched or buckled to a diver's harness and used as an attachment point for lifeline, cylinders or other equipment. Drager tube Drager tube Indicator tube used for testing breathing gas quality Drift diving Any dive where the diver is transported significantly by drifting with currents during the dive Drill ship Ship built or converted for offshore well drilling, using dynamic positioning to maintain position in deep water. Drop weight. Weight used during descent and ascent, but left on the bottom at the guideline during the deep part of the dive when it is not needed due to suit compression. Drowning. The process of experiencing respiratory impairment from submersion, immersion in liquid. Dry bag. Bag which seals in a watertight manner. Used for keeping clothes and other equipment dry in a wet environment. Dry bell. See closed bell. Dry filling. Filling scuba cylinders without the use of a water bath for cooling. Dry suit. A watertight suit worn to keep the diver dry and to provide protection from the environment. Thermal insulation may be provided by the suit or garments worn under the suit. DSV. 1. Dive, surface valve, valve on the mouthpiece of a rebreather which can be switched between the loop and ambient air at the surface. 2. Diving support vessel, a ship or boat used as a base for diving operations, particularly if designed or fitted out for that purpose. DSMB Also delayed surface marker buoy An inflatable marker buoy deployed from underwater to indicate the position of a diver and to control ascent rate can also be used to mark a position or signal an emergency. Duckbill valve A non-return valve, manufactured from rubber or synthetic elastomer, and shaped somewhat like the beak of a duck. Used as exhaust valve in some twin hose diving regulators. Dump valve Valve used to release excess air from a dry suit or buoyancy compensator. Dynamic positioning 
Method of keeping a diving support platform in position without anchoring, using thrusters and positional feedback. Disparism Medical conditions resulting from changes in ambient pressure. Topic E EAD Equivalent air depth Depth at which partial pressure of nitrogen in a nitrox mixture at a given depth is equal to the partial pressure of nitrogen in air. Used in decompression calculations. Ian Enriched air nitrox, see nitrox Ear beer A mixture of alcohol and acetic acid in water used as a drying agent and disinfectant to rinse the ears after diving, to prevent ear infections Ear clearing Equalizing the pressure in the middle and external ear by opening the eustachian tubes. Several techniques are used. ECCR Electronic closed circuit rebreather. Sometime ECCCR for electronically controlled closed circuit rebreather. Eddy current test. Method of non-destructive testing using electromagnetic induction to detect flaws in conductive materials. It is used to detect cracks in parallel neck threads of aluminium cylinders. Also called visual plus inspection. Required for cylinders of AA6351 alloy. EDTC. European Diving Technology Committee. International Committee of European Representatives promoting good standards for diving and coordinating, where possible, differing standards with the aim of making European professional diving safer. EL Algorithm. Also Thalman algorithm, VVAL18. Exponential linear algorithm of 2008 U.S. Navy tables, assumes exponential ingassing and a combination of linear and exponential outgassing rates. Electro-galvanic oxygen sensor. An electro-chemical fuel cell which produces a voltage proportional to the partial pressure of oxygen. Emergency position indicating radio beacon. Also emergency beacons or EPIRB. Emergency position indicating radio beacons are tracking transmitters which aid in the detection and location of boats and people in distress at sea. Emergency swimming ascent. Also ESA, controlled emergency swimming ascent, CESA. Emergency procedure where the diver makes an ascent from depth after a breathing gas supply failure. Encapsulation. Using a diving suit which completely isolates the diver from direct contact with the environment. End. Equivalent nitrogen depth or equivalent narcotic depth. The depth at which the narcotic effects of nitrogen in a given trimix mixture at a given depth are equivalent to the effects of air. Used to choose nitrogen content of a trimix breathing gas for a planned dive profile. EPIRB. See emergency position indicating radio beacon. Equalize Balance pressure of a gas-filled space with the ambient pressure, by adding or venting gas, to prevent barotrauma or pressure damage. Equivalent air depth Also EAD A way of approximating the decompression requirements of nitrox mixtures at depth by comparison with the depth at which air would require the same decompression. Equivalent narcotic depth Also end a way of expressing the narcotic effect of a breathing gas mixture at depth by comparison with the depth at which air would have a similar effect. Exceptional exposure. A dive in which the risk of decompression sickness, oxygen toxicity, and or exposure to the elements is substantially greater than on a normal working dive. Excursion. Excursion dive. Saturation diving where the divers work at a depth deeper or shallower than the saturation depth, after which they are returned to the original saturation pressure. Excursion umbilical. The combined supply and return hoses and cables for lifeline, life support, power and communications between a diving bell and the diver. Extraction ratio. Also, ventilation, oxygen extraction ratio. Ratio between minute ventilation and oxygen uptake, the volume rate of gas breathed to the amount of oxygen taken up in the bloodstream. A typical surface extraction ratio of 20 would mean that for every 20 liters of gas breathed, 1 liter of oxygen would be absorbed in the lungs. P 
Topic F. Faceplate. Viewport of a full face mask or helmet. Farmer John. Wetsuit that covers the torso and legs only. It resembles a bib overall or salopettes. Fatigue cracking. Cracking in a material resulting from multiple stress cycles below the ultimate or yield strength. Usually refers to large number of cycles. Feather breathing. Technique for emergency breathing from a free-flowing demand valve where the diver manually controls air flow by opening and closing the cylinder valve. FFM. See full face mask. FFW. FFW. Feet fresh water. Unit of pressure equal to 1 34th of an atmosphere. Not a linear measure of depth. Filling ratio. Ratio of the mass of gas in a cylinder to the internal volume of the cylinder water capacity, usually expressed in kilograms per liter, or pounds per cubic foot. Filtration. Process for removing impurities from a fluid. Particulates are commonly removed by passing the fluid through porous material with pore size small enough to trap the particles e.g. micron filters. Liquids and gases are commonly absorbed or adsorbed by the surface of the filter medium activated carbon, molecular sieve, silica gel, or may be chemically combined with the medium sodalime, or catalytically converted hopcolite, into a less objectionable substance. Fin keepers Elastic rubber straps used to help prevent fins from falling off the diver's feet. Also known as fin retainers, fin holders, fin fasteners, fin grips, fin keeps, fin guards, flipper fixers, Y straps, ankle straps, accessory safety straps, fix fins, grip fins and, in recognition of their French origin, as fix palm. They are called Flossenhalter in German, Fissipin or Regipin in Italian and Sujeta Aleta or Sujetador de Aletas in Spanish. See Swimfin Hashtag Attachment First Stage See Diving Regulator Hashtag First Stage Diving Regulator Component which reduces gas pressure from stage pressure in the cylinder to interstage pressure for supply to the second stage and for suit and BC inflation. Flood Up Valve Valve in a diving bell which allows air to escape and water level to rise. Flow Movement of water through a cave system. Similar in meaning to current in open water. Fluorocarbon elastomers. Synthetic elastomers rubber, with good performance in high partial pressures of oxygen. Preferred material for O-rings in diving regulators for oxygen service. Flutter kick. Finning style where the fins are alternately moved up and down by movements of the full, usually fairly straight, leg. Thrust is developed on both up and down strokes. See also modified flutter kick Fogging Condensation of water vapor on the inside surface of a mask or helmet faceplate, reducing visibility Forward roll entry Water entry technique used by scuba divers from a boat or platform too high or unsuitable for backward roll entry. The diver bends forward at the hips and waist and falls forward into the water, making a partial somersault and breaking the water with the cylinder, back and shoulders. Not suitable for heights more than about 2 meters. Four-wire system Voice communications using separate wire pairs for each direction Frame Transportable assemblies of gas cylinders connected by a manifold and securely mounted to a structural framework. Free air See also free gas air at normal atmospheric pressure. Free diving. Underwater diving that does not involve the use of external breathing apparatus, but relies on a diver's ability to hold his or her breath until resurfacing. Also breath hold diving, and apnea Q, V. Free flow. 1. Constant flow rate air supply. 2. Malfunction of a demand regulator where the valve sticks in the open position, allowing a constant rate of flow. Free flow helmet. A helmet where the breathing air supply is supplied at an approximately constant rate regardless of the diver's instantaneous breathing rate. Free flow valve. 
Valve on the side of a demand helmet or full face mask which opens a free flow of breathing gas into the helmet interior, usually directed over the interior of the viewport, hence alternative term defogging valve, as it is often used to blow condensation from the inside of the viewport. Free gas Gas at normal atmospheric pressure Usually refers to the volume of some amount of compressed gas when allowed to expand to atmospheric pressure at constant temperature. Free gas volume. Equivalent volume of compressed gas if expanded to atmospheric pressure at constant temperature. Frenzel maneuver. Technique for equalizing the middle ear by pinching the nose closed and moving the back of the tongue upwards. Frog kick. Finning technique where thrust is developed by sweeping the fins horizontally toward each other with the fins twisted into a nearly vertical plane, with the soles facing each other, followed by a recovery stroke which develops negligible thrust where the fin blades are feathered. The legs are fairly straight during the power stroke. See also modified frog kick Frogman A scuba diver, particularly a military diver on an undercover mission FSW Feet sea water, unit of pressure equal to 1 33rd of an atmosphere. Not a linear measure of depth. Generally defined as the pressure exerted by a foot depth of seawater having a specific gravity of 1.027 and is approximately equal to 0.445 pounds per square inch. Full duplex Voice communication system where both users can transmit and receive at the same time. Compare with half duplex. Full face mask. Diving mask covering the eyes, nose and mouth, and provides the diver with breathing gas. Topic G. Gap. The space between two cave guidelines. Usually between a main guideline and a branch line. Gap spool. A relatively short length of cave line on a spool used to bridge a gap between lines when making an excursion from the main guideline to a branch guideline. Gator Also gator US textile legging wrapped around the calf and ankle area over a dry suit to restrict the amount of air that can get into the lower leg area. Also can reduce drag of the suit in this area by smoothing over creases and folds. Gas blender 1. Person who mixes breathing gases for diving, filling diving cylinders with gas mixes such as nitrox or trimix. 2. Qualification to mix breathing gases for diving. Gas blending. Mixing breathing gases for diving, filling diving cylinders with gas mixes such as nitrox or trimix. Gas embolism. Blockage of blood vessel by a bubble of gas. Gaseous impurities. Contaminants in the compressed breathing air or gas mixture which are in gaseous form. Compare with particulate and condensate impurities. Gas fraction. The fraction by molecular count, volume or pressure, they all come to the same thing, of a specific gas in a mixture of gases. Gas panel. The control equipment for providing breathing gas to surface supplied divers via umbilicals. Primary and reserve gas is supplied to the panel through shutoff valves from a low-pressure compressor or high-pressure storage cylinders. Gas reversal point. The depth during an ascent or decompression when the intake of dissolved gas is exceeded by outgassing. Gauge mode. Operating mode for a personal dive computer where the decompression calculation is disabled, and the unit operated only as a timer and depth gauge. Typically used when diving with gas mixtures not supported by the algorithm, in which case decompression tables are used to monitor and control the decompression schedule. Gauge pressure. Gauge pressure is zero referenced against ambient air pressure, so it is equal to absolute pressure minus atmospheric pressure. Gauge snubber. A needle valve or small bore orifice between the pressure supply and the gauge which damps pressure fluctuations. Gay-Lussac's law Relation between temperature and pressure in an ideal gas for a constant volume General gas equation General gas law 1. Relation between the variables pressure, volume and temperature for a given mass of a given mixture of an ideal gas 2. 
thermodynamic equation of state for gases for the variables volume, pressure, temperature and number and atomic weight of molecules glossopharyngeal insufflation also buccal pumping, lung packing a method used by freedivers for filling the lungs with more air than maximal inspiration to normal total lung capacity TLC. After a full inhalation, the diver fills the mouth with air, while the glottis remains closed, then opens the glottis and forces this air into the lung using the cheeks and tongue to reduce the mouth volume. This may be repeated several times. Glow stick A single-use, translucent plastic tube containing isolated substances that, when combined, make light through chemiluminescence. Gnarly a general-purpose adjective to denote particularly difficult section of cave, which may be low, tight, silty, etc. or a combination. Go into decompression. Incur a decompression obligation. Generally refers to having a theoretical tissue inert gas concentration that requires the diver to make stage decompression stops during ascent to avoid an unacceptable risk of symptomatic decompression sickness according to the decompression model, algorithm, tables or dive computer in use. Golden Rule The convention in cave diving that anyone can turn the dive at any time for any reason. Gold Line the permanent main guideline in a cave system, that usually starts well inside the cave. Often yellow or golden color. Goodman handle A handle used to carry the primary dive light head comprising a rigid slot through which the fingers and palm of the hand are extended, so that the light rests on the back of the hand, facing the direction of the extended fingers. GPS a satellite navigation system that provides location and time information in all weather, anywhere on or near the Earth, where there is an unobstructed line of sight to four or more GPS satellites. Gradient factor A way of modifying the M value of a decompression algorithm to a more conservative value. Often used to bias the algorithm towards deeper stops. Guideline Guideline See distance line Topic H Haldanian Also Haldanian Decompression models based on the principles described by John Scott Haldane Half plus 200 An alternative reserve calculation strategy to the rule of thirds for breathing stage cylinders the cylinder is breathed down to half of its starting pressure plus 200 psi, so that a stage cylinder filled to 3000 psi would be breathed down to 1700 psi before being dropped. This is a less conservative strategy for pressures greater than 1200 psi. Half duplex Voice communication system where users take turns to send and receive. Half mask Diva's mask which covers the eyes and nose but not the mouth. Half times See tissue half times Halocline A strong variation in salinity over a small depth range within a body of water. Often visible as a blurred or shimmering region due to uneven refractive index. Handoff cylinder a diving cylinder, complete with regulator, which can be handed off to another diver in an emergency, so that the two divers are not obliged to remain in close proximity during the exit and ascent. Transfer of a handoff cylinder should not compromise either diver's buoyancy to the extent that they cannot make a normal, controlled ascent at neutral buoyancy. Hang To remain stationary at a specific depth and location, particularly when decompressing. Hard hat diving Surface supplied diving, generally in professional diving, either wearing a modern diving helmet or the old style standard diving dress and brass helmet. Hardwire communications. Voice communications using a cable for transmission. Harness. Straps and webbing with associated buckles, D rings, and other accessories used to support the breathing apparatus and secure it to the diver. The harness often has other functions such as supporting weighting and buoyancy control systems and for recovery of the diver from the water. Hat Commercial diver term for diving helmet. HAZID 
Hazard Identification Study, a systematic qualitative assessment of potential hazards and threats to health, safety, equipment, property, environment production or reputation. May be followed by a risk assessment. Hazmat Diving Diving in a known hazardous materials environment. The environment may be contaminated by hazardous materials, the diving medium may be inherently a hazardous material, or the environment in which the diving medium is situated may include hazardous materials with a significant risk of exposure to these materials to members of the diving team. Special precautions, equipment and procedures are associated with hazmat diving. Heavy gear See standard diving dress Heliox Mixtures of helium and oxygen for use as a breathing gas Heliair Trimix blends made by topping up helium with air Helicopter turn Maneuver in which a usually horizontally trimmed diver uses small fin movements to rotate on the spot on a vertical axis Helium An inert gas which is used as a component of breathing gas mixtures for deep diving Helium analyzer an instrument used to identify the presence and concentration of helium in a mixture of gases Helmet diving See hard hat diving Henry's law Description of the relation between solubility of a given gas in a given liquid as pressure varies. Hid light High intensity discharge light, used in cave diving light heads Q, V. Hira Hazard identification and risk analysis, a risk management procedure for identifying hazards and assessing the risk associated with them and ways to reduce the risk to an acceptable level. HP High pressure, generally gas pressures in excess of 30 bars. In diving context gas working pressures do not frequently exceed 300 bars, but pressures in hydraulic systems may be considerably higher. Hogarthian configuration a scuba combination of backplate, wing, one-piece harness with crotch strap, regulator arrangement including long hose primary with a necklace secondary demand valve, and, if used with twin cylinders, an isolation manifold. Named after William Hogarth Main, a developer and proponent of the system. Hog looped a scuba configuration where the primary demand valve has a long hose which is routed under the rear arm, usually tucked under a light battery canister on the waist belt of the harness, and around behind the neck to reach the mouth from the right hand side. Part of the Hogarthian configuration Q, v. Homebrew Amateur blended mixed gas Hood Close-fitting thermal head protection, usually neoprene foam, but also latex on some dry suits Hookah Also hookah and airline diving Also known as airline diving, surface supplied diving where the breathing air is supplied to the diver by a simple hose. The diver usually breathes through a mouth-held demand valve. Hook breathing Also recovery breathing A technique used by freedivers on surfacing to reduce the risk of surface blackout. A partial exhalation is made, followed by a quick inhalation, then the diver closes the airway and pressurizes for a few seconds as if about to cough. This is repeated a few times over the first 30 seconds or so on the surface. The aim is to keep thoracic pressure slightly raised to artificially raise arterial oxygen partial pressure or prevent it from dropping in the critical seconds until newly oxygenated blood can reach the brain, and thereby prevent surface blackout. This is the same technique used by pilots during high G maneuvers, and by mountaineers at high altitude. Hopcolite Catalyst sometimes used in air filters to oxidize carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide. Hopcolite is a mixture of manganese oxide, copper oxide and a small amount of silver oxide. Horse collar See adjustable buoyancy life jacket. Hot mix Breathing gas mixture with a high percentage of oxygen for the depth at which it is used. Using a gas mixture with a high partial pressure of oxygen. Hot water suit. An insulated pipe in the umbilical line, which links the diver to the surface support, carries the hot water from a heater on the surface down to the suit. The diver controls the flow rate of the water allowing him to vary the warmth of the suit. HPNS. 
High pressure nervous syndrome, a neurological and physiological diving disorder that results when a diver descends below about 500 feet 150 meters while breathing a helium oxygen mixture. HRC Hyperbaric rescue capsule. A self-contained buoyant hyperbaric chamber intended for emergency evacuation of saturation divers under pressure from a platform which has become so dangerous that it is considered safer to put the divers into the sea in the HRC to be picked up by a rescue vessel for transfer to another hyperbaric system for decompression. HSE Health and Safety Executive UK, Government Department responsible for occupational diver safety in UK. H-valve Cylinder valve body with two outlets and two valve mechanisms which can be independently controlled so that two regulator first stages can be fitted. Similar to Y-valve but in configuration where the second valve is parallel to the primary, though the secondary valve can sometimes be swiveled. Hydro Slang, abbreviation for hydrostatic test Q, V. Hydrostatic pressure Pressure due to the weight of the water column above a point at depth Hydrostatic test Non-destructive test to revalidate pressure vessels which uses water as a test medium. The vessel is pressurized to the test pressure Q, V, and measured for permanent set. Hydrelics Deep diving breathing gas mixture of hydrogen, helium and oxygen. Hydrox Deep diving breathing gas mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. Hyperbaric evacuation system System for evacuating divers under pressure from a saturation system in an emergency Hyperbaric lifeboat A lifeboat with a hyperbaric chamber and life support system built into it for evacuating saturation divers in an emergency. Hyperfilter Additional filter to produce air of oxygen compatible quality. This may be built into the filling system or temporarily connected when required. Hypercapnia Excessive level of carbon dioxide in the body. Hyperventilation. 1. A deliberate deep breathing to reduce blood carbon dioxide level to extend the duration of a free dive. 2. Rapid breathing as the body's response to hypercapnia. 3. Rapid, often shallow breathing, associated with panic. Hyperventilation-induced blackout. See underwater blackout syndrome. Hypocapnia Abnormally low tissue and blood carbon dioxide concentration Hypothermia A lowering of deep body temperature due to heat loss Hypoxia Abnormally low tissue oxygen concentration, insufficient oxygen in the body to support normal activities or consciousness Hypoxic training Prolonged underwater distance swimming or extended breath hold intervals Topic I IDRF International Diving Regulators Forum, a voluntary group of diving regulators and certifying agencies formed to work together toward mutual recognition and to identify and implement best practices in diver training with the object of harmonizing cross-border diver training standards outside Europe. Members include Australia, Canada, France, Norway, South Africa and United Kingdom. IDSA International Diving Schools Association, formed with the primary purpose of developing common international diving standards for all occupational divers, offshore, inshore and inland, and specialist-related non-diving qualifications e.g. Supervisor, DMT and LST. IMCA International Marine Contractors Association Inert gas A gas which is not metabolically active, used to dilute the breathing gas Ingassing Inert gas uptake in body tissues during a dive or other hyperbaric exposure Inherent unsaturation Metabolic reduction of total gas pressure in the tissues Inshore diver Colloquial term for a diver who works on inland dive sites or coastal waters not associated with the oil and gas industry. Also referred to as civils, as much of this work is connected with civil engineering works. Integrated weight system 
Any system for carrying dive weights on the buoyancy compensator or diving safety harness, avoiding the use of a separate weight harness or weight belt. Internal condition of cylinder. The state of the internal surface of a cylinder regarding corrosion, contamination and cracking. Interstitial emphysema. Gas trapped in the spaces between organs after lung barotrauma. IP. Intermediate pressure, or interstage pressure. The reduced pressure between the first and second stages of a diving regulator. Also referred to as LP low pressure in this context. Isobaric blackout. See constant depth blackout. Isobaric counterdiffusion. ICD. Isobaric counterdiffusion, the diffusion of gases in opposite directions caused by a change in the composition of the external ambient gas or breathing gas without change in the ambient pressure. Isolation manifold. Connection between two scuba cylinders which when open allows free flow of gas in both directions between the cylinders, but has an isolation valve to block this flow. Isolation valve. 1. Valve in an isolation manifold Q, v, used to close the gas passage through the manifold and isolate the contents of the two cylinders. Used to prevent a leak on one cylinder from causing the other cylinder to also lose gas. Topic. J Jackstay A line secured at both ends to serve as a support or guide. Jackup rig A type of mobile platform that consists of a buoyant hull fitted with a number of movable legs, capable of raising its hull over the surface of sea. The buoyant hull enables transportation of the unit and all attached machinery to a desired location. Once on location the hull is raised to the required elevation above the sea surface on its legs supported by the sea bed. J cylinder Bulk gas storage cylinder with internal volume 50 liters. Jersey upline C upline JIC fitting A type of pipe and hose fitting with a 37 degree flare seating surface. Commonly used in umbilical hose connections. Gym suit an atmospheric diving suit manufactured by Underwater Marine Equipment Limited. Jocking strap. Webbing strap system used with diving helmets to hold the helmet assembly down on the diver to prevent buoyancy lifting it when underwater. John line. A short line used to connect to a shot line or anchor line, allowing the diver to move a short horizontal distance away to decompress. The line helps compensate for vertical movement in the anchor line or shot line due to waves. Job safety analysis JSA A procedure to integrate health and safety principles and practices into a particular task or job. Each basic step of the job analyzed to identify potential hazards and controls for each hazard. Jump A path from a main guideline to another which is not in contact. Jump camera a camera mounted on a frame, which when lowered to the bottom of a body of water, takes a photograph, usually of the bottom under the camera. The frame constrains the camera to a fixed camera to subject distance, resulting in photographs of uniformly sized areas of bottom, equivalent to quadrats. Jump jacket The jump jacket is a harness with integral buoyancy jacket specifically designed for commercial diving work with helmets and bells. Jump line a short cave line used to connect between two permanent lines that are not in contact. May also be used to search for the other end of a break in a cave line and repair the break. Jump reel. Jump spool. A reel or spool with a relatively short line intended to be used as a jump line. Q, V. J valve. Scuba cylinder valve with lever operated reserve mechanism. Topic. K Kayak diving Diving from a special purpose kayak used to get to the site where the distance from a suitable entry and exit point is inconvenient for shore diving. K cylinder Bulk high pressure gas storage cylinder size designation approximately 50 liters internal volume. Kelly Kelly tube C tube K valve 
scuba cylinder valve without reserve mechanism. Topic L. Lanyard. A piece of cordage used to secure or lower things, usually it is used where there is a risk of losing the object. Lars. Launch and recovery system Q, v. Launch and recovery system Mechanized system for launching and recovery of a diving bell, diving stage, submersible or ROV from a vessel, offshore platform, dockside or other platform. Laryngospasm an uncontrolled or involuntary muscular contraction spasm of the laryngeal cords which causes a partial blocking of breathing in, while breathing out remains easier. Latent hypoxia While freediving, an arterial PO2 which is sufficient to sustain consciousness at depth, but when ascending drops to hyoxic levels due to the reduction of ambient pressure, associated with ascent blackout. Lay barge Also pipe lay barge Barge on which pipeline sections are assembled, welded and laid on the seabed as the barge is moved forward. Lazy shot Shot line Q, v, which does not reach the bottom LDS Local dive shop LED Light-emitting diode, commonly used in dive lights. Lid See low-impact diving Lifeline a line connected securely to the diver at one end and anchored at the other end at the diving control point, which is handled by a line tender, and is used to communicate with the diver and provide a means of finding the diver for a surface standby diver, and for assisting the diver to the surface and back to the control point if necessary. Life support Life support system Equipment vital to the short-term survival of the diver. Most notably the breathing gas supply, and for saturation diving, equipment for providing a correctly pressurized environment. In some cases thermoregulatory equipment is also considered life support, and in saturation diving, all of the peripheral systems essential to maintaining a habitable saturation system. Life support supervisor. A senior life support technician appointed by the diving contractor to supervise the operation of saturation life support systems. Life support technician CLST Lifting bag A robust and air-tight bag with straps, which is used to lift heavy objects underwater by means of the bag's buoyancy. Light Alternative term for a viewport of a standard diving helmet. Light head The part of a canister light Q, v, which emits light, and is held in the hand or mounted on the helmet. Lightweight helmet Low volume, close fitting diving helmet, usually with demand valve. Neutrally buoyant, and moves with the diver's head. Line marker. Line arrows, cookies, and sometimes clothes pegs. Used to indicate direction to exit, midway point between exits, jumps, and personal markers to identify divers on a guideline. Line tender. See diver's attendant. Line trap. Narrow gap where the guide line passes but divers cannot get through. Lipid pneumonia A lung inflammation pneumonia that develops when lipids enter the bronchial tree. Live aboard A large boat which provides transport, accommodation and services for vacationing divers. Live boating Diving from a boat which is underway, not moored. The major implication is that the engines will be running and propellers or thrusters may be engaged while divers are in the water, a significant hazard. Lockout 1. Working diver leaving the closed bell into the water. 2. Lockout tagout safety procedure when working on a hazardous energy source. Lock Compartment of a hyperbaric habitat or chamber which can be entered through two or more openings which can be closed and sealed, and the pressure adjusted relative to the adjacent chambers. Used to transfer personnel or equipment between areas of different pressure. Log book. Record of dives kept as proof of experience. Optional for recreational divers, but legally required for professional divers in many jurisdictions. Long hose. 5 feet to 7 feet interstage hose used on one of the regulators used by cave and other technical divers, which allows gas sharing through narrow spaces. 
Longshore current Mass transport of water along a shoreline, generally due to wave action at an angle to the shoreline Loop Also breathing loop The circuit in a rebreather through which the breathing gas passes during a breathing cycle Loop volume Volume of the breathing loop of a rebreather Lost buddy drill Standardized procedure followed when a diver realizes that their buddy is not where they should be. Procedures may vary depending on the circumstances and training organizations. Lost line drill Standardized procedure to be followed when the guideline to the surface is lost in a penetration dive, often in conditions of low visibility and darkness. Low impact diving Diving with low environmental impact Diving in a way that avoids contact with or disturbance of sensitive organisms and adversely affecting the environment. LP Low pressure LP compressor Low pressure compressor Used for breathing air supply for surface supplied air diving. LP cylinder Low pressure cylinder US with working pressure less than 2500 psi. LP port Opening on the first stage of a regulator through which regulated gas is supplied. LST Life support technician, a person who operates and maintains the life support systems of a saturation diving system. Lung packing See glossopharyngeal insufflation Topic. M Mammalian diving reflex Also diving response A reflex response to breathe hold and chilling of the face diving response expressed by the cardiovascular system, which exhibits hypertension, bradycardia, oxygen conservation, arrhythmias, and contraction of the spleen. Manifold See twin cylinder manifold Manufacturing standard Also manufacturing code Set of design and manufacturing rules intended to produce uniform and safe products by several manufacturers in an industry. Marsh Marine Connector One of the popular underwater plug connector systems for diver communications cables. Martini's Law Rough rule of thumb for estimating nitrogen narcosis effects based on equivalence to consumption of dry martinis, variously quoted as 1 martini per 10 meters or 1 martini per 50 feet depth. Master link Rigging The large heavy-duty link to which the legs of a chain sling are attached, and which is the attachment point on the sling for the lifting hook or shackle. Maze cave Cave structure characterized by multiple branches and changes in direction. MCCR Manual Closed Circuit Rebreather, a closed circuit rebreather which relies on the diver to control the gas mixture in the loop. Microbubbles Microscopic bubbles which are not detectable by ultrasound or Doppler ultrasound, yet can affect the likelihood of DCS by slowing off gassing. Micronuclei Microscopic cavities that function as bubble seeds by absorbing dissolved gas. Medical lock Small lock on a decompression chamber used for transfer of medical equipment and other supplies into and out of the chamber while the chamber remains under pressure. Mix Short for trimix breathing gas Mixed gas Breathing gas for diving other than air, but usually implies a helium-based mixture. Mod Maximum operating depth, limiting depth for safety based on partial pressure of oxygen of a breathing gas mixture. Modified flutter kick Version of the flutter kick finning style which reduces risk of silting by directing thrust more directly backwards. Two techniques exist, one version has the legs bent at the knees so that the fins are placed relatively high and on average are aligned more horizontally. The other version has one fin stationary below the moving fin to deflect downwash. Leg movement is restrained, and ankle movement used for precision maneuvering. Modified frog kick Version of the frog kick finning style which reduces risk of silting by directing thrust more directly backwards. Performed with bent knees and fins raised above the line of the torso. Modu 
Mobile Offshore Drilling Unit, a generic term for several classes of self-contained floatable or floating drilling rigs such as drilling vessels, semi-submersibles, submersibles, jack-ups, and similar facilities that can be moved without substantial effort. These facilities may have self-propulsion equipment on board and may require dynamic positioning equipment or mooring systems to maintain their position. Monofin A type of swimfin typically used in fin swimming and free diving. It consists of a single surface attached to foot pockets for both of the diver's feet. Molecular sieve Material containing tiny pores of a precise and uniform size that is used as an adsorbent for gases and liquids. Molecules small enough to pass through the pores are absorbed while larger molecules are not. It is different from a common filter in that it operates on a molecular level. Monkey diving the use of sidemount configuration and procedures with a single cylinder. Moonpool An opening in the floor or base of the hull, platform, or chamber giving access to the water below. MSW Meters sea water, unit of pressure equal to one-tenth of a bar. Not a linear measure of depth. Multi-level dive a dive profile in which the diver remains in more than one distinct depth ranges for a significant period before beginning final ascent to the surface excluding decompression stops. Mung A brown organic deposit usually found on the ceilings of caves which is easily dislodged by diver's exhaust bubbles and then drifts down through the water. Multiple stage compressor Compressor in which gases are compressed more than once, often with cooling between stages. Used to improve efficiency and reduce temperatures. Mushroom valve. A rubber non-return valve flap which is circular or oval, with a stem in the middle to attach it to the holder in the center of the grating over the orifice. M value. At a given ambient pressure, the M value is the maximum theoretical value of absolute inert gas pressure that a tissue compartment can take without presenting symptoms of decompression sickness. Topic N NACD National Association for Cave Diving NARCS See Nitrogen Narcosis Navy SEAL A U.S. Navy trained combat diver NDL No decompression limit the maximum time which a diver can remain at a specified depth without incurring a stage decompression obligation in terms of the specified decompression tables or algorithm. Neck dam. The lower part of a lightweight diving helmet which includes a neoprene or latex neck seal to prevent ingress of water. The alternative is to clamp the helmet to the diver's dry suit. Necklace. Bungee loop attached to the secondary regulator second stage, worn around the neck to store the secondary close under the chin, where it is protected and the diver is immediately aware of a free flow. With a little adjustment and practice it is possible to pick it up by head and mouth movement alone, not needing use of a hand. The bungee is attached to the second stage by a breakaway connection, often a close-fitting loop over the mouthpiece, so that it can be moved away from the diver's head in an emergency without disturbing the primary second stage or the mask. NEDU U.S. Navy Experimental Diving Unit Negative buoyancy Also just negative in context Buoyancy less than weight Insufficient upward force due to buoyancy to keep afloat or remain at constant depth. Negative buoyancy entry. Negatively buoyant entry. Negative entry. Entry into the water in a buoyancy condition that will sink by default. When intentional, generally after reducing buoyancy of BC and, if applicable, dry suit by venting to ensure that the diver will not float back to the surface, but will continue to descend. Neo Haldanian. Also Neo-Haldanian. Decompression models based on later modifications of the principles described by John Scott Haldane. Neoprene. Synthetic elastomer used in the form of foamed sheets as the material for most wetsuits and some dry suits. Neutral buoyancy. Having a fully immersed buoyancy exactly equal to weight, so that the forces are balanced and the person or object statically remains at a constant depth. 
Effectively average density is equal to that of the surrounding fluid medium. The state of neutral buoyancy is typically metastable for a compressible system. Newt suit An atmospheric diving suit designed and originally built by Phil Newton. Net cutter A handle with a hooked blade used to cut netting or cordage to free the diver from entanglement. NFCI Non-freezing cold injuries, permanent tissue damage due to low temperature exposure without any freezing damage. Niggles Minor symptoms characteristic of mild decompression sickness. Night diving Diving during the hours of darkness. NIMH Nickel metal hydride. A technology for rechargeable battery cells. Nitrile a synthetic elastomer used for most standard O-ring seals. Nitrogen The major component gas of air and many breathing gas mixtures used in diving. Important in diving as an active agent in nitrogen narcosis and decompression sickness. Nitrogen narcosis Also known as narcs, inert gas narcosis, raptures of the deep, martini effect, a reversible alteration in consciousness that occurs while breathing gases containing nitrogen under elevated partial pressure similar to alcohol intoxication or nitrous oxide inhalation, and can occur during shallow dives, but usually does not become noticeable until greater depths, beyond 30 meters. Nitrox Also enriched air nitrox Ian. Mixture of nitrogen and oxygen for use as breathing gas. Usually with oxygen percentage higher than air. Nitrox stick. A mixing tube used to blend oxygen with air before compressing to make nitrox breathing gas. NOAA. National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, U.S. Nominal capacity. Volume of free gas contained by a scuba cylinder when filled to charging pressure at constant temperature. No mount diving A specialized overhead environment strategy for dealing with particularly tight restrictions which may involve divers wearing a very basic harness or simply hand-carrying cylinders. Normoxic 1. A breathing gas mixture with oxygen content approximating atmospheric air. 2. A breathing gas for diving which contains sufficient oxygen to minimize risk of hypoxia at atmospheric pressure. NSS National Speleological Society Nystagmus An oscillation of the eyes alternating a slow eye movement in one direction, and a fast eye movement in the other direction. Topic. O. Octopus breathing Sharing air using an octopus regulator Octopus regulator Also octo-reg A secondary demand valve fitted to a first stage diving regulator for use as an alternative air source for another diver in case of an emergency. Off-gassing Sea-out gassing Offshore 1. A significant distance away from the shoreline 2. Outside the national maritime border, in international waters, though generally still inside the exclusive economic zone. Offshore diver Colloquial term for a diver who works in the offshore oil and gas industry. O lay Method for installation of subsea pipeline for the oil and gas industry. The pipe is constructed in an onshore construction yard, moved into the water and bent into a spiral without causing plastic deformation of the material. When the pipeline is sufficiently long it is transported with the help of tugs to the installation area. At the installation area the pipeline is unwound and pulled over a simple lay barge with stinger and installed on the bottom. On gassing Sea ingassing Onshore Sea inshore Open circuit Breathing apparatus which discharges exhaled gas into the environment, without any further use. OOA out of air, an emergency situation where the supply of breathing gas to the diver has stopped. Open water. 1. Water where there is no physical obstruction to a direct ascent to the surface. 2. Water which is open to influences by weather and climatic conditions. OPV. Over pressure valve. 
a pressure relief valve which automatically opens at a set pressure to allow excess gas to escape. O-ring A mechanical gasket in the shape of a torus, a loop of elastomer with a circular cross-section, designed to be seated in a groove and compressed during assembly between two or more parts, creating a seal at the contact surfaces. Oro-nasal mask A breathing mask that covers the mouth and the nose only. It may occur independently, as an oxygen mask, or it may occur inside a full-face diving mask or helmet to reduce the amount of dead space. Outgassing Diffusion of gas out of the tissue into the blood, and transport to the lungs where it diffuses into the lung gas and is eliminated by exhalation. Overhead A physical or procedural obstruction to a direct ascent to the surface. Physical overheads include cave, cavern or culvery ceilings, fishing nets, ship hulls, and wreckage. Procedural overheads are generally a decompression obligation. Overweighting See also diving heavy Carrying more weight than is necessary to achieve neutral buoyancy at all times in a dive. Oxygen Important component gas of atmospheric air and essential component of any breathing gas. Required to sustain life. Oxygen analyzer. Instrument for measuring the partial pressure of oxygen in a gas mixture. Oxygen clean. Clean for oxygen service by appropriate methods and materials and tested for contaminants. Verified that particulates, fibers, oils, greases and other contaminants are absent. Oxygen clock. A notional alarm clock, which accumulates hyperbaric oxygen exposure at a rate which increases with higher PPO2 toward the maximum single exposure limit recommended. Oxygen compatible. Made from materials which are suitable for oxygen service. Capable of coexisting with elevated oxygen concentrations and a potential source of ignition without flashing, based on a system's maximum operating pressure and temperature. Oxygen compatible air Air which has been filtered to reduce contaminants to a level suitable for blending with high pressure oxygen. Air with a reduced level of condensable hydrocarbon mist or vapor. Oxygen design Design that minimizes any tendency for heat generation, ignition of particulates, or the accumulation of contaminants for an intended partial pressure of oxygen and temperature. Oxygen fraction Fraction by volume or pressure of the gas mixture made up by oxygen. Oxygen peat. Mythical monster associated with CNS oxygen toxicity, also CNS oxygen toxicity seizure. Oxygen service. Suitable for operating with significantly higher levels of oxygen than normal atmospheric air. Often implies special cleaning procedures, use of oxygen compatible materials, and designed to reduce ignition risk. System or component that has been designed and tested for oxygen use, has been tested as oxygen clean and as oxygen compatible. Oxygen toxicity. A condition resulting from the harmful effects of breathing molecular oxygen O2 at elevated partial pressures. Oxygen window. Inherent unsaturation due to metabolic reduction of total gas pressure in the tissues. Topic. P Panic A sudden sensation of fear which is so strong as to dominate or prevent reason and logical thinking, replacing it with overwhelming feelings of anxiety and frantic agitation consistent with an animalistic fight or flight reaction. Parallel compartments a decompression model comprising a group of tissues with varied rates of perfusion, but supplied by blood of approximately equivalent gas concentration. It is assumed that there is no gas transfer between tissue compartments by diffusion. This results in a parallel set of independent tissues, each with its own rate of ingassing and outgassing dependent on the rate of blood flowing through the tissue. Partial pressure Abbreviation PP or PP the pressure that a component gas of a gas mixture would exert if it alone was present in the volume occupied by the gas mixture. Passive addition See also rebreathe a hashtag passive addition semi-closed circuit Feed gas addition system for semi-closed circuit rebreathers which discharges a part of the gas in the breathing circuit. 
Fresh gas is added when the volume of the circuit decreases during inhalation and triggers the addition valve. Compare with active addition. Pendulum rebreather. Also push pull rebreather. Rebreather with a single breathing hose from the mouthpiece to the scrubber and counterlung. Gas passes through it in both directions, unlike the one-way breathing loop configuration. The volume of the hose between the mouthpiece and scrubber is dead space. Penetration. Entering a region with no direct vertical access to the surface, such as a cave or the interior of a wreck. Penetration line. See distance line. Percolation. Cave diving, bubbles making their way to the walls and the ceiling of the cave and dislodging silt. Perfusion. The process of delivery of blood to a capillary bed in the biological tissue. Perfusion limited. The assumption in a decompression model that perfusion has the dominant influence on gas uptake and release. Personal locator beacon. Also PLB. Radio beacons for personal use which are intended to indicate a person in distress who is away from normal emergency services. Personal safety equipment. Equipment worn by personnel to reduce risk of injury at sites where it is not practicable to eliminate the hazard, including ear protectors, safety glasses, hard hats, gloves, overalls, respirators etc. PFO Patent foramen oval, a form of congenital heart defect that enables blood flow between the left and right atria through a gap in the interatrial septum. Photo quadrat See also jump camera a photograph of a quadrat taken for later analysis. Common in marine ecological research where in situ counting would be impractical. Quadrats may be identified by rigid frames or by a fixed camera to subject distance. Pig Pipeline inspection gauge, a tool that is sent through a pipeline and propelled by the pressure of the product in the pipeline itself. Pigtail Coiled section of pipe to provide greater flexibility. Pillar valve. See cylinder valve. Pin index connection. Standard connection type for portable medical oxygen cylinder valves and regulators. Placements. Securing the guideline as it is being run and the choice of primary and secondary tie-offs. PLB. See personal locator beacon. PLEM. Pipeline end manifold. Point where flexible underwater hose string is attached to connect seabed pipeline with single point mooring. Pneumo breathing Use of the pneumophotometer hose to supply breathing gas to a surface supplied diver in an emergency. Supply can be from the diver's own pneumo hose or from a standby diver's pneumo hose. Pneumophotometer also pneumo instrument to measure depth of a diver using a gauge calibrated in MSW, FSW, or often both, which measures the ambient pressure at the diver by measuring the pressure in a hose filled with air with an open end at the diver, pneumothorax air or other breathing gas in the chest cavity, often resulting in a collapsed lung. Positive displacement of compressor compresses gas by reducing volume of compression chamber cylinder by mechanical means piston to produce higher pressure of the contents. Pony cylinder relatively small scuba set carried as an independent alternative breathing gas source by a scuba diver. P port a large bore quick connector fitting designed and used by Dreger on diving and firefighting breathing apparatus, which has been used in rebreathers, particularly modifications. Pre-fill external inspection examination of the external condition of a pressure vessel and fittings to ensure that it complies with requirements before accepting for filling. Pre-mix nitrox blend with high oxygen content used to mix nitrox by topping up the decanted pre-mix with air, pressure gradient the rate of change of partial pressure of dissolved gas through a solvent, which is the driving mechanism for diffusion through the solvent. Also loosely used to refer to the difference between the dissolved gas pressure in a tissue and ambient pressure, primary light the main light to be used on a dive. Usually the most powerful, primary regulator the regulator which the diver intends to breathe from for most of the dive. Particularly when diving with back-mounted manifolded twin cylinders, primary tie-off first tie-off of the guideline in a penetration dive. 
This is usually made in a place with free vertical access to the surface. Professional diving Diving which is done as part of the diver's employment or professional occupation, progressive penetration and incremental approach to cave and wreck exploration. Each dive goes a bit further so that the divers develop a familiarity with the environment. PRV pressure relief valve psi pounds per square inch. Unit of pressure in the imperial system. PTT push to talk voice communication systems which require the user to press a button to transmit. Used with through water systems to conserve battery power, public safety diving the underwater work conducted by law enforcement, fire department rescue, and search and rescue, recovery dive teams, pull a relatively long pull on a lifeline when used for rope signals. See bell for comparison. Part of an ascent between the bottom and a decompression stop, between decompression stops, or to the surface. Possibly deriving from the practice of pulling a surface supplied diver up by the umbilical or lifeline. Pulmonary overinflation syndrome. Pulmonary barotrauma of ascent. Lung over pressure injury. Purge. To press the purge button on a demand valve to induce a gas flow which is intended to clear the demand valve interior of water or other substances. Purge button. Button or flexible area on the front or side of a demand valve which allows the user to manually open the second stage valve to provide gas flow without inhalation. Purge valve. Valve in snorkel or mask which allows water to drain either under gravity or as a result of exhalation into the air space. Push gradient. Tech diving jargon, decompress at a high gradient factor, particularly when exceeding the baseline M value. Push pull rebreather. See pendulum rebreather. P valve. Also P valve. A valved catheter fitted to a dry suit, which enables a diver to urinate at any time without having to get out of the water. Pile stops Named after Richard Pyle, an early advocate of deep stops. An additional brief deep decompression stop, typically two minutes long and halfway between the maximum depth and the first conventional decompression stop. Topic. Q. Quick link Oval connector shaped like a chain link with a screw gate on one side. Quad A group of high-pressure gas storage cylinders mounted upright on a frame and manifolded together. Usually in 4, 6, 9, 12, or 16 cylinder arrangements. Quadrat See also photo quadrat a small, typically rectangular plot used in ecology and geography to isolate a standard unit of area for study of the distribution of an item over a large area. The quadrat is suitable for sampling plants and slow-moving or sessile animals. Topic R Ram's head Also cobra guard Frame attached to the top of the cylinders to protect valves, manifold, and regulator first stages from impact with the surroundings. Rapture of the deep. See nitrogen narcosis. Rash vest. Also known as rash guard, or rashy, a shirt made of spandex and nylon or polyester to protect against rashes caused by abrasion. These shirts can be worn by themselves, in tropical water, or under a wetsuit. Rat hat. Ratcliffe Diving Helmet, designed by Bob Ratcliffe, later produced by Oceaneering International. No longer in production. Ratio decompression. Also ratio deco. A technique for calculating decompression schedules for scuba divers engaged in deep diving without using dive tables, decompression software or a dive computer. Rebreather breathing apparatus which recycles most of the exhaled gas, removing carbon dioxide and topping up oxygen before the gas is breathed again. Reciprocating compressor Compressor in which the volume of the compression chamber, S is cyclically changed by reversing linear motion. E.g., a piston moving back and forth in a cylinder. Reclaim helmet Diving helmet with a reclaim gas regulator allowing exhaled gas to be safely returned to the surface through an additional hose on the umbilical. Reclaim system. 
system for recovering helium-based breathing gas used by divers and recycling it. Recompression Subjecting a diver to pressure after an ascent from a dive is treatment for decompression illness or to prevent decompression sickness. Preferably done in a recompression chamber, but occasionally done as in water recompression. Recompression chamber A hyperbaric chamber used to treat divers suffering from certain diving disorders such as decompression sickness. Recovery breathing Sea hook breathing Recreational diving Recreational diving or sport diving is a type of diving that uses scuba equipment for the purpose of leisure and enjoyment. In some diving circles, the term recreational diving is used in contradistinction to technical diving, a more demanding aspect of the sport which requires greater levels of training, experience and equipment. In other circles, technical diving is considered a subset of recreational diving as opposed to professional diving, which is done as part of the diver's work. Recreational Dive Planner Also RDP A no-stop decompression table developed by DSAT Redundancy Technical diving philosophy of ensuring that a spare or backup is available for any item of life support equipment that would immediately endanger the diver if it were to fail. Redundant equipment Duplicated or spare equipment carried by the diver or team to substitute for vital primary equipment in case of a malfunction. In some cases, such as cave lights, multiple redundancy may be desirable. A redundant breathing gas supply is the most common example. Red tide See algal bloom Reel Mechanism used to store, deploy and recover long lengths of line Regulator 1. A mechanism for controlling the output pressure of a high-pressure gas supply. 2. As one, with a demand valve Q, v, incorporated which provides the diver with breathing gas at ambient pressure. Regulator freeze. Locking of the regulator mechanism caused by freezing of the water due to expansion cooling of the regulated air. Often causes the mechanism to lock open, causing free flow and further cooling. Reject criteria Features, states or conditions which are not acceptable Repetitive dives Any dive which is done while the tissues retain residual inert gas from a previous dive. Repex Method of estimating tolerable repetitive exposure to high partial pressure oxygen. Rescue tether a short lanyard or strap carried by a surface-supplied standby diver to be used to tether an unresponsive diver to the standby diver during a rescue. It is attached at one end to a D-ring on the standby diver's harness, and has a clip at the other end which may be secured to a D-ring on the casualty's harness to allow the rescuer the use of both hands during the return to the bell or surface. Reserve gas Gas which is not intended to be used during the dive, and is reserved for contingencies. Reserve valve Cylinder valve with a lever-operated bypass valve to release the gas below reserve pressure. Residual gas Gas remaining in a cylinder from the previous fill. Residual nitrogen Nitrogen in excess of normal atmospheric saturation remaining in the diver's tissues after a dive. Residual nitrogen time Also RNT Time penalty in a repetitive dive equivalent to time at depth which would produce the residual nitrogen in the diver at the start of the dive. Residual pressure Pressure of the gas remaining in a cylinder from the previous fill. Pressure of gas remaining in a partly used cylinder. Respiratory quotient The ratio of carbon dioxide produced as a metabolic product to the oxygen consumed. Restriction Section of a cave which is difficult to pass through due to lack of space. A minor restriction is too small for two divers to swim through together. A major restriction requires the diver to remove equipment to fit through. Reverse jump. Procedure to cross a gap during an exit which allows the line to be retrieved without returning to the start point. In the event of a line break or removed primary reel, one diver holds the end of the search line at the break point, and the other searches for the other part of the broken line or the exit while laying line from the reel. 
When the original line or exit is found, the reel handler signals to the static diver with line pulls and the static diver swims in the direction of the line while the reel handler reels it in, recovering the line. Reverse profile Repetitive dive which is deeper than the previous dive Multi-level dive in which a later level is deeper than an earlier level RGBM Also reduced gradient bubble model a bubble model decompression algorithm developed by Bruce Vinca. Rimbox system. System of touch contact signaling. Push forward. Topic. Go, pull back. Back up, squeeze equals stop. Ring bungee. See also bungee. Side mount. Length of shock cord with metal rings and a clip used to control the position of the top end of a side-mounted cylinder. Differs from a regular bungee in having the rings. A popular configuration is a bolt snap connected to a ring by a quick link, with a length of bungee from the ring to another quick link which is used to connect the assembly to a D-ring on the back of the harness. The bolt snap is clipped to the shoulder D-ring and the cylinder neck bolt snap is clipped to the ring. Rip current. A strong localized flow of water to seaward from near the shore, typically through the surf line. Riser. A conduit that provides a temporary extension of a subsea oil well to a surface drilling facility. RMV. Respiratory minute volume, or minute ventilation. The volume of gas inhaled, inhaled minute volume, or exhaled, exhaled minute volume from a person's lungs in one minute. RNPL. Royal Navy Physiological Laboratory RNT See Residual Nitrogen Time Rock Bottom Gas Management See also Scuba Gas Planning Retention of a breathing gas reserve based on calculated values for the amount of gas required for a safe ascent from any point in the planned dive profile. Factors such as emergency supply of gas to a buddy, air consumption rates under stress and decompression gas requirements are considered in the calculations. Roll-off Closing of a cylinder valve as a result of scraping contact between the valve knob and the overhead or other surroundings. The left-hand knob is more likely to roll off, closing the backup regulator in the standard twins configuration. ROV ROUV Remotely operated underwater vehicle, a tethered underwater mobile device operated by a remote crew. Roughneck Member of the drilling crew who works under the direction of the driller to make or break connections as drill pipe is tripped in or out of the hole. Roustabout Any unskilled manual laborer on the rig site. Rule of thirds Cave and Wreck Penetration Breathing Gas Management Convention where no more than one-third of the gas in a cylinder may be used on the inward part of the dive, and the other two-thirds is kept for exit, one-third for the planned exit, and one-third in case of an emergency. Run time. Time elapsed since the start of a dive. Running stop. A pause made during ascent to adjust the average ascent rate to the nominal value. For example a nominal ascent rate of 3 meters per minute might use an actual ascent rate of about 5 meters per minute and make a stop every 3 meters until the end of the current minute, resulting in a slightly stepped profile with an overall ascent rate corresponding to the nominal rate. Run time schedule Decompression schedule and dive plan based on elapsed time from the start of the dive. All waypoints and events are specified in terms of elapsed time with start of descent at zero. R valve Also, positive reserve valve, automatic valve, or calibrated orifice A cylinder valve which limits the outflow by a calibrated orifice when in the on position. Topic S Sac rate Surface air consumption rate, a measure of air consumption in units of pressure over time, usually psi per minute, adjusted to surface pressure, used to estimate air endurance of a cylinder of specific size. Useful for those who work in imperial units. SAC has a constant value for a given diver and represents gas used on the surface at rest. Surface gas consumption is an alternative term referring to alternative breathing gas mixtures. 
occasionally also termed surface consumption rate SCR safe air term used for nitrox by Andy American Nitrox Divers International safe second obsolete term for backup regulator safety reel reel for use in an emergency usually for searches to find lost buddy or lost guideline or to jump a line break relatively short line safety stop a voluntary not required by the decompression schedule additional decompression stop intended to reduce risk of decompression sickness salt water aspiration syndrome a reaction of the lungs to inhalation of a mist of salt water. Samba. Contractions experienced by breathehold divers when approaching hypoxic blackout. Sasuba. A shallow water airline diving system using a scuba cylinder on a float towed by the diver. Saturation. Condition where the inert components of the breathing gas dissolved in a diver's tissues is in equilibrium with the gas in the lungs. Saturation diving Diving procedure where the divers remain pressurized for periods of several days or weeks and decompress only at the end of the period. Saturation spread Saturation diving system SCBA Self-contained breathing apparatus not for underwater use. Schrader valve Valve using a standard automotive tire valve insert, common in low-pressure inflation hose female connectors and BC inflation valves. Scientific diving Diving for purposes of scientific research. The rules and constraints of scientific diving vary in different jurisdictions, but generally allow more options than mainstream commercial diving. Scooter Diver propulsion vehicle used by scuba divers to increase range underwater. Scooter ring D-ring on scuba harness used to attach to scooter tow line. Usually on front of the harness crotch strap. SCR Semi-closed circuit rebreather, a rebreather Q, v, which either dumps part of each breath to the environment or continuously adds gas and dumps the excess. Compare with closed circuit rebreather CCR Q, v. Surface consumption rate, an alternative term with the same meaning as surface air consumption SAC Q, V, not to be confused with semi-closed circuit rebreather. Screw gate carabiner. A clip mechanism which can be locked in the closed position by turning a threaded barrel. Scrubber. Canister containing material SORB, which chemically combines with carbon dioxide to remove it from the gas passed through the canister. Scuba. Also scuba. Self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. May be open or closed circuit. Scuba orienteering. Competitive underwater sport in which scuba divers attempt to swim a circuit marked by buoys, without surfacing, using compass navigation and mechanical distance measurement. Points are awarded for time and accuracy according to the specific course definition and length. Scuba replacement. Surface supplied diving equipment using portable gas storage cylinders for primary and reserve breathing gas supply. Preferred to scuba for commercial diving applications due to lower perceived risk compared to scuba, and because equipment and procedures are otherwise identical to surface supplied diving using compressors for air supply. Used when logistical constraints or air quality issues preclude use of a compressor. S drill. Safety drill. An air sharing exercise based on deploying the long hose primary regulator. Search line. Cord used to indicate the transect for a search. The diver moves along the line, searching by sight or feel on one or both sides of the line. After the transect has been searched, the line is moved to the next transect, usually a short distance offset from the previous position, at a distance which depends on the visibility and the size of the target. Search pattern. Systematic procedure for covering the search area sufficiently to be reasonably sure of finding a given target. Several patterns are in general use for underwater searches, depending on the target, the terrain, and available facilities. Secondary drowning. A complication of aspiration of water or other fluids into the lungs. Second stage. See demand valve. 
the part of a diving regulator which provides pressure reduction from intermediate pressure to ambient pressure on demand. Demand valve. Semi-dry suit. A wet suit with wrist and ankle seals, and usually a more watertight zipper than usual, to reduce flushing of water through the suit. Separator. Device which facilitates the separation of liquid particles from the compressed gas, usually with a drain to periodically remove accumulated liquid from the system. Serial compartments. A decompression model based on the assumption that diffusion is the limiting mechanism of dissolved gas transport in the tissues, in which there is perfusion transport for one compartment, and diffusion between a series of compartments. Serial number 1. Number stamped on the cylinder by the manufacturer in the shoulder area which identifies the cylinder. In combination with the manufacturer's identification this will be unique to the cylinder. 2. Character string, including number, marked on an item of equipment by the manufacturer to uniquely identify it. SGC CSAC Surface gas consumption Shallow water blackout Loss of consciousness during a dive associated with occurrence at a shallow depth. Used for several different mechanisms, depending on context, therefore often leading to confusion. 1. See also shallow water blackout. Loss of consciousness caused by cerebral hypoxia towards the end of a breath hold dive in water typically shallower than 5 meters 16 feet, when the swimmer does not necessarily experience an urgent need to breathe and has no other obvious medical condition that might have caused it. 2. See also freediving blackout hashtag terminology and latent hypoxia. Loss of consciousness caused by cerebral hypoxia at the end of a deep breath hold dive during the latter part of the ascent or immediately after surfacing due to lowered PO2 caused by reduction in ambient pressure, see also latent hypoxia. 3. Loss of consciousness while ascending on a rebreather due to sudden drop of PO2 in the breathing loop, usually associated with manual CCR and SCR. Shark pod. Also, shark shield. Electrical device carried by a diver intended to repel sharks by electrical field pulses. Shock cord. See bungee cord. Shore diving. Diving from a shore entry. Shot line. A rope between a float at the surface, and a sufficiently heavy weight holding the rope approximately vertical. Side mount. A scuba diving equipment configuration which has diving cylinders mounted alongside the diver, below the shoulders and along the hips, instead of on the back of the diver. Sidemount staging. The practice of using sidemount configuration bungee loops and or buttplate rails as a means for stowing stage, deco cylinders when otherwise diving in back-mounted scuba. Silent entry. An entry technique which minimizes noise and splash, suitable for entry from a low platform. The diver sits with feet dangling over or into the water, turns the torso sideways, and takes his weight on his hands, then swings off the surface and drops feet first into the water, slowed by the arms, and lets go with the hands when in the water. Silica gel. A desiccant filter medium used to absorb water. Silled up. A situation when underwater visibility is rapidly reduced to zero, usually when a diver disturbs silt deposits. Silt screw. Device which is inserted into silt or sand to provide an anchor point, such as for a tie-off on a cave line. Silt screws are generally stakes made from small bore plastic PVC pipe with a sharpened end. Single point mooring. A loading buoy anchored offshore, that serves as a mooring point and interconnect for tankers loading or offloading gas or liquid products. SPMs are the link between geostatic subsea manifold connections and weathervaning tankers. They are capable of handling any size ship, even very large crewed carriers VLCC, where no alternative facility is available. Sinkhole A natural depression or hole in the Earth's surface caused by karst processes, the chemical dissolution of carbonate rocks, or suffusion processes for example in sandstone. Sintered Particulate or granular material bonded together by the application of pressure and sufficient heat to partially melt the surface of the particles and weld them together. The product is usually porous. Siphon 
place where water from a stream flows into the ground, also swallow hole. Scandalopetra A flat stone, usually of marble or granite, weighing between 8 and 14 kilograms, with rounded corners and edges, and tied to a rope, historically used by Greek sponge-free divers to assist descent, when the diver wishes to ascend the rope is used to signal the tender on the boat who then pulls in the rope. Currently a competitive sport. Skin Also skins, or dive skins A lycra suit worn by a diver in warm water or under a wet suit Skip breathing Breathing pattern where the diver holds each breath a while to conserve breathing gas. Can cause CO2 buildup which can lead to headaches, and reduces physiological reserves in case of an emergency. S. Lay Method of laying undersea pipelines by welding the sections together on the lay barge and deploying them from the stern horizontally guided by a stinger, a structure that supports the pipe string to control its bend radius. Slate Rigid plastic tablet used for writing messages or notes. Sling cylinder Independent cylinders with their own regulators carried clipped to the harness at the side of the diver. Slingshot valve CY valve. A cylinder valve with two valved outlets angled to left and right of the center line. Slob knob. Flexible extension used for operating valve knobs on a manifold. SMB. Surface marker buoy. Snag line. Line used for underwater search intended to snag on the target. May be dragged by boats or by divers. May be weighted if dragged over a smooth bottom. Snap shackle A clip connector mechanism which locks when closed, can be operated without tools, and can usually be released under load. Snoopy loop A heavy-duty elastic band made from a slice of inner tube. Snorkel Tube with a bend and mouthpiece used for breathing air from above the water surface when the wearer's mouth and nose are submerged. Snorkeling Also snorkeling Swimming at the surface of the water while breathing through a snorkel, the snorkeler is almost always equipped with a diving mask or swim goggles, and usually swim fins. Snorkel keeper. Device to hold a snorkel in place at the side of a diving mask by fixing it to the mask strap. See snorkel construction. Snuba. Snuba is portmanteau of snorkel and scuba. Referring to a proprietary recreational surface supplied underwater breathing system supplied from a cylinder mounted on a small raft towed by the diver, see also hookah. Solo diving The practice of scuba diving alone, without a dive buddy, in water standby diver. Sonic orifice Metering device to provide constant mass flow of a gas. SORB also sodazorb, sodalime and sofnolime. Carbon dioxide absorbent material used in rebreatha or life support system scrubber to remove carbon dioxide from the breathing gas so it may be recycled. Speargun. Hunting weapon for shooting fish underwater which propels a barbed steel spear a short distance forward using stored energy from stretched rubber strips or compressed air behind a captive piston. Spiro. Slang term for breathehold spearfisher. Speleogen. Dissolution features in bedrock. Speleothem. Also known as a cave formation, a secondary mineral deposit formed in a cave. SPG. Submersible pressure gauge. SPHL. Self-propelled hyperbaric lifeboat. Spider. Mask strap system for full face masks with three or more straps. Commonly five. Spitcock. A valve in the side of a copper diving helmet which could be used by the diver to suck in a mouthful of seawater to spit onto the inside face of a viewport to wash off condensation droplets to improve his view. SPM. See single point mooring. Spool. 1. Circular device for storing line, comprising a short tubular section with a large flange at each end. No moving parts, small, compact, economical and reliable alternative to a reel for relatively short lines. 2. Short, straight section of pipe or tube with a flange at each end. Spring. 
place where a concentrated flow of water emerges from the ground. Spring strap Fin strap using a stainless steel spring to secure the fin to the foot. Spring suit A wetsuit that covers the torso and has short sleeves and long or short legs. Spudkin the foot on a leg of a jack-up type oil platform designed to spread the load so that the rig does not sink too deeply into the seabed. SPUMS South Pacific Underwater Medicine Society Square Profile Dive Profile where the diver descends continuously to the maximum depth and stays there for the duration of the dive before ascending directly at a steady rate to the surface or first decompression stop. This profile provides worst-case exposure for gas absorption by the body tissues for a given depth and time, and is assumed for decompression planning using decompression tables. Squeeze See barotrauma Injury or discomfort caused by increase or decrease in volume of gas space in the diver's body or equipment due to a change in ambient pressure. SSDE Surface Supply Diving Equipment Stage See diving stage Stage cylinder 1. A cylinder used for a stage of a long penetration dive, also known as drop cylinder, which is placed on the distance line to be collected on the return. 2. Also generically used to refer to decompression gas cylinders carried as sling cylinders Q, V. Stage decompression The practice of making decompression stops. Stage only diving the use of standard deco, stage cylinder configuration, without back-mounted cylinders, on an otherwise standard, or partially modified tech, rec BCD. The cylinders are attached to waist and shoulder D-rings by direct bolt snap, and no bungee cord is used in the upper attachment. May be confused with side mount. Standard diving dress. Also standard dress, copper helmet or heavy gear. Early free-flow surface supplied diving equipment using a heavy canvas suit, copper helmet and corslet, and weighted boots. Still in use in some parts of the world. Standard operating procedure. Procedure compiled by an organization prescribing the processes to be followed when performing specified tasks. Standby diver. Diver functioning as a safety backup to the working diver. Often on the surface at the dive control point, but ready to enter the water at very short notice on the instruction of the supervisor. Static apnea Static apnea Underwater breath holding without changing location Steamer A full one-piece wetsuit that covers the torso and the full length of the arms and legs Stinger an overboard extension at the stern of an offshore pipe lay barge used to provide additional support at the overbend of an S lay during offshore construction. Stop. See decompression stop. Storage depth. Also living depth. Depth pressure in a saturation system at which divers live between compression and decompression. Stride entry. Also giant stride entry. Entry technique from a platform a small to moderate distance above the water surface, which is suitable to stand on before entry. The diver faces the water and steps out with the leading foot, pushing away from the platform with the back foot, and drops into the water while maintaining a vertical posture until fully submerged. It is usually advisable to hold loose equipment against the body, particularly the mask and DV, and if there is no crotch strap, the buoyancy compensator is held to prevent it riding up the torso on impact. The feet can be brought together after initial impact to limit depth of immersion in moderately shallow water, by applying fin thrust downwards. Stroke Derogatory term used by DIR zealots to describe divers who do not follow DIR procedures and use DIR approved equipment and configurations. Subcutaneous emphysema. Gas under the skin resulting from lung overpressure injury. Submersible compression chamber. See closed bell. Submersible pressure gauge. Also SPG. Gauge attached to the first stage regulator and used to monitor pressure remaining in the diving cylinder. Suicide clip Derogatory term for clip mechanisms which are capable of clipping onto a line or other object without the active and intentional intervention of a user. Suit blow-up 
excessive inflation of a dry suit leading to uncontrolled ascent. Sump A passage in a cave that is submerged under water. Sump pack Tough waterproof bag with watertight seal used to carry dry equipment in caves, including through water-filled passages. Superoxide scrubber Rebreathe a scrubber which not only removes carbon dioxide from the exhaled air, but also replenishes the oxygen by chemical reaction. Supersaturation A temporary and thermodynamically unstable condition of a solvent containing more dissolved gas than it can hold in solution over the long term for the prevailing conditions. Supersaturation limit the theoretical pressure ratio between tissue gas concentration and ambient pressure above which the probability of bubble formation is unacceptably high. Supervised diver N14153-1, ISO 24801-1 standard competence for recreational scuba diver. The level 1. Supervised diver has sufficient knowledge, skill and experience to dive, in open water, to a recommended maximum depth of 12 meters, which do not require in-water decompression stops, under the direct supervision of a dive leader, in groups of up to four level 1 scuba divers per dive leader provided the dive leader is capable of establishing physical contact with all level 1 scuba divers at any point during the dive, only when appropriate support is available at the surface, and under conditions that are equal or better than the conditions where they were were trained. Supervisor. See diving supervisor. Supply lock. Small lock on a saturation life support habitat for transfer of relatively small items. Surd. See surface decompression. Surd. Southern Underwater Research Group. An organization based in Cape Town, which publishes marine ecology field guides, dive travel guides and underwater maps. Surf The mass or line of broken water formed by waves breaking on a shore or reef. Surface compression chamber A hyperbaric chamber for surface use for routine decompression or therapeutic recompression. Surface decompression A procedure in which some or all of the staged decompression obligation is done in a decompression chamber immediately after surfacing instead of in the water. Surface detection aids Equipment, such as flags, surface marker buoys, flares, epurbs, mirrors, and whistles, carried by divers to maintain contact with dive boats or attract rescue when lost at sea. Surface equivalent volume Gas volume adjusted to surface pressure. See also free gas volume Surface interval the time spent by a diver at surface pressure after a dive during which inert gas which was still present at the end of the dive is further eliminated from the tissues. Surface marker buoy Also SMB A buoy towed by a diver to indicate location to people at the surface. Surface orientated diving Any diving operation in which the diver is decompressed to surface pressure after the dive. Opposite to saturation diving. Surge Reciprocating water movement parallel to the bottom surface caused by the passing of a wave overhead Sustained load cracking The development of cracks in a material subjected over long term to static stress significantly less than the yield stress. There is a low but significant risk of this mode of failure in pressure vessels of AA6351 aluminium alloy. Swell a series of surface gravity waves that is not generated by the local wind. Swim line. Line used to space divers across the search area for a swim line search. Each diver holds the line at a distance from the previous diver of somewhat less than Tuche the visibility distance. The line is used to keep the divers spaced evenly across the search area while swimming perpendicular to the line. Swim through. Swim through. A submerged arch or short tunnel that a diver can swim through without needing to remove equipment. It is usually possible to see natural light at the far end in good visibility and illumination. Usually refers to a natural formation. Technically an overhead environment, but usually with no risk of getting lost, though entrapment may be possible. Topic. T. 
Caravana A form of decompression sickness found among Polynesian island natives who habitually do multiple repetitive deep breath hold dives Task loading A multiplicity of responsibilities leading to an increased risk of failure on the part of the diver to undertake some key basic function which would normally be routine for safety Taut wire system a constant tension wire from a vessel to a weight on the seabed used as a reference to detect movement of a dynamically positioned vessel from the reference point. Technical diving An extension of the scope of recreational scuba diving to applications with greater technical complexity and higher inherent risk. Definitions vary, but diving with multiple breathing gases, helium-based gases, closed-circuit rebreathers, or under extensive overheads are generally considered as technical diving. There is no sharp distinction from other forms of recreational diving. Tech ring D ring welded to a belt slide so that it can not fold down against the webbing. Intended to make it easier to fit and remove snaps. Tension leg rig A vertically moored floating structure normally used for the offshore production of oil or gas, particularly suited for water depths between 300 and 1,500 meters. The platform is permanently moored by means of tethers at each of the structure's corners and virtually all vertical motion of the platform is eliminated. Test pressure Pressure at which the cylinder will be hydrostatically tested for revalidation. Usually 1.5 or 1.67 x working pressure. Tethered ascent Ascent controlled by a line from the diver to a fixed point at the bottom. This may be used to control depth and rate of ascent when the diver has inadvertently lost complete control of buoyancy due to loss of ballast weight, so cannot attain neutral buoyancy at some point during the ascent, and needs to do decompression. CMAS require this skill for their self-rescue diver certification. Tethered diving Diving with a lifeline between the diver and a surface tender. Thalman algorithm the exponential, linear decompression algorithm used in the 2008 U.S. Navy decompression tables. Therapeutic recompression. A procedure for treating decompression sickness by recompressing the diver, thus reducing bubble size, and allowing the gas bubbles to re-dissolve, then decompressing slowly enough to avoid further formation or growth of bubbles, or eliminating the inert gases by breathing oxygen under pressure. Therapeutic schedule. Procedure for hyperbaric treatment involving recompression to relieve symptoms, followed by decompression at a rate unlikely to cause a relapse. Use of special breathing gas, particularly oxygen, to increase the rate of elimination of inert gases is common. Thermocline A thin but distinct layer in a large body of fluid, in which temperature changes more rapidly with depth than it does in the layers above or below. Thermodynamic decompression model Hypothesis that bubble formation during decompression will not occur provided absolute ambient pressure exceeds the total of the partial gas tensions in the tissue for each gas. Thirds See rule of thirds Three-part shackle Also bolt and nut shackle, bolt shackle. A shackle which uses a bolt as the pin, secured with a nut. The nut may be locked with a split pin for greater security. The bolt may rotate in the shackle under load without great risk of unscrewing the pin. Through water communications. Wireless voice communications transmitted through the water. Thumb the dive. Terminate the dive by signaling exit to surface at a time or place other than the planned turning point. Thunderflash. Friction initiated noisy but relatively harmless pyrotechnic device designed for military exercises, with civilian use for diver recall. Time to fly. The surface interval necessary after diving to reduce tissue gas concentrations to a level where the risk of decompression sickness due to the pressure reduction experienced in normal commercial airliners is acceptable. Tinnitus. The perception of sound within the human ear in the absence of corresponding external sound. Tissue compartments. Imaginary tissues which are designated as fast and slow to describe the rate of saturation. Tissue half times. The time it takes for the tissue to take up or release 50% of the difference in dissolved gas capacity at a changed partial pressure. TNT. 1.
Total nitrogen time, equivalent time of hyperbaric exposure for a repetitive dive used with some decompression tables. 2. Trinitrotoluene, a high explosive. Top up. To reconnect a partially filled cylinder and add gas until the pressure is within tolerance of the required charging pressure when corrected for temperature. Touch contact signals. See Rimbach system. Toynbee maneuver. Method of equalizing the middle ears by pinching the nose and swallowing. Trait anxiety. A tendency to respond with anxiety in the anticipation of threatening situations. Transect. A path along which one counts and records occurrences of the phenomena of study. Transfill. Also decant. Fill cylinder with gas by transfer from a cylinder with higher pressure. Transfill whip. High pressure hose and end fittings used to decant between cylinders. Usually includes purge valve and may include pressure gauge. Trauma shears. Also bandage scissors or paramedic shears. Blunt tipped slightly serrated shears with angled blades sometimes used by divers as a safety cutting implement in place of a knife or line cutter. Travel gas. Gas mixture used for descent and ascent when the bottom gas is not suitable for breathing at shallower depths. Traverse. Pass through a cave by entering at one point and exiting at another. Tremi. A pipe, through which concrete is placed below water level. The top of the tremi is above water and open, and the bottom end is kept below the surface of the poured concrete. Triangular profile. A triangular dive profile is one in which, after a descent at constant rate, and a short bottom time at maximum depth, the diver maintains a constant, slow ascent to the surface or first decompression stop. A plot of depth against elapsed time takes a triangular shape. Triglide See belt slide Trilum Material used for dry suit shells made of a layer of waterproof rubber laminated between two layers of woven textile Trimix Mixture of three gases for breathing. Oxygen, nitrogen and helium are the gases used. The gas fractions will usually be specified. Trim weight Ballast weight placed to improve a diver's trim. Tube A seamless transportable compressed gas container, with a water capacity exceeding 150 liters 5.3 cubic feet, but not more than 3,000 liters 110 cubic feet, often mounted horizontally in manifolded groups on a trailer or intermodal container frame. Also known as Kelly tubes or Kelly's. Tup Transfer under pressure, transfer of personnel between hyperbaric environments, usually between a closed bell and a saturation system, or between a portable recompression chamber and a multi-occupant chamber. Turbidity The cloudiness or haziness of a fluid caused by individual particles suspended solids that may be invisible to the naked eye, similar to smoke in air. Turn the dive Start the return on a dive which has reached the planned turning point in terms of depth, time, gas supply or distance. Twilight zone Deeper than 60 meters in the sea, or the part of a cave or cavern that has dim but discernible ambient light. Type 1 wet bell Wet diving bell, Q, V, with no direct supply of gas and services to the bell. Diver umbilicals lead directly to the surface control point. Type 2 wet bell Wet diving bell, Q, V, with umbilical supply of gas and other services to the bell, from which they are distributed to the diver's umbilicals from a control panel in the bell. Topic U UBA Underwater breathing apparatus, equipment used to supply breathing gas to an underwater diver. Usually refers to the part of the system carried underwater by the diver. UDT vest Underwater demolition team vest, an inflatable surface life jacket worn by underwater demolition teams. Similar in style and a precursor to the horse collar style buoyancy compensator. UHMS Undersea and Hyperbaric Medical Society Umbilical Life support connection to a surface-supplied diver or diving bell. 
comprises gas supply hoses, a strength member and communications cable, and may also include gas reclaim hose, hot water hose and hoses for hydraulic or pneumatic power, and electrical and optical cables for ancillary equipment. Also refers to the power, control and instrument cable for ROV, umbilical cutter, mechanism fitted to a closed bell which allows the occupants to sever the bell umbilical from inside the sealed and pressurized bell in the event of an umbilical snag that prevents bell recovery. The device is typically hydraulically operated using a hand pump inside the bell, and can shear the umbilical at or just above the point where it is fastened to the top of the bell. Undertow A subsurface flow of water returning seaward from shore as result of wave action. Underwater blackout syndrome. Also hyperventilation-induced blackout. Loss of consciousness due to hypoxia during a breath-hold submersion preceded by hyperventilation where alternative causes of blackout have been excluded. Upline. Also jersey upline. A fairly substantial natural fiber rope which is deployed from the bottom using a small lift bag to provide the equivalent of a shot line. The lower end is tied off to the bottom, usually on a wreck, and the diver ascends on the line to avoid being swept away from the site by currents. After reaching the surface, the last diver cuts the line and it sinks back down. Natural fiber is used so the line rots away over a few years. Upstream. Against the flow. Upstream valve. Valve, usually regulator first stage or demand valve, where the valve mechanism moves against the flow when opening, and the pressure difference over the valve tends to close it. Upwelling An oceanographic phenomenon that involves wind-driven motion of dense, cooler, and usually nutrient-rich water towards the ocean surface, replacing the warmer, usually nutrient-depleted surface water. Topic. V Valsalva maneuver Technique for equalizing the middle ear by moderately forceful attempted exhalation against a closed mouth and blocked nose Valve cage Structure or frame fitted to scuba cylinder to protect the cylinder valve or manifold and regulator first stage from impact damage and roll off Valve drill Safety exercise in which the diver shuts down, tests regulators and re-opens the manifold valves on a twin set in a specific order. Valve guard Protective structure or frame fitted to the top of a bulk storage cylinder to protect the cylinder valve from mechanical damage. Van der Waals equation Thermodynamic equation of state for a real non-ideal gas. Vasoconstriction the narrowing of blood vessels resulting from contraction of the muscular wall of the vessels, particularly the large arteries and small arterioles. Vasodilation The widening of blood vessels resulting from relaxation of smooth muscle cells within the vessel walls, particularly in the large veins, large arteries, and smaller arterioles. Vertical entry Vertical drop entry an entry technique for relatively high drops, up to and sometimes exceeding 3 meters. The feet are overlapped and the legs kept straight. The body is and head are kept vertical and the mask and DV held against the face with one or both hands, elbows tucked in. The intention is to hit the water vertically, with the least likelihood of knocking off or damaging vital equipment. Vertigo A type of dizziness, where there is a feeling of motion when one is stationary. VGE See also decompression diving hashtag bubble formation growth and elimination Venus gas emboli viewport 1 glass or plastic window on a diving helmet or full face mask 2 window on a hyperbaric chamber VIP visual inspection program US annual visual internal inspection of a scuba cylinder Visual gap Gap between guidelines which is small enough that each line can be seen from the other Visual jump The procedure of crossing a visual gap Q, v, without the use of a jump line Visual inspection Internal and external inspection of a pressure vessel as part of revalidation procedure Visual plus Eddy current test Q, v, of parallel neck threads of aluminium cylinders 
Viton Synthetic elastomer suitable for oxygen service O-rings. VPM Also variable permeability model. A decompression model and associated algorithms based on bubble dynamics. VVAL18 the exponential, linear decompression algorithm used in the 2008 U.S. Navy decompression tables. Topic W Wall diving Diving along the face of a near-vertical cliff wall, particularly if the bottom is below the range of the diver's equipment and certification. This requires good buoyancy control. Water capacity of a cylinder, the internal volume. The amount of water it would hold at ambient pressure at 20 degrees Celsius 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Water trap Mechanism to trap liquid water carried by the compressed gas Weight belt Ballasted waist belt worn by divers to compensate for excess buoyancy. For scuba and freediving, usually easily removed to establish positive buoyancy in an emergency Weight harness Webbing strap system to support diving weights, usually suspended from the shoulders and fastened around the waist. The harness may carry the weights directly, or they may be carried in pockets on the harness. For scuba diving the weights may be arranged for easy shedding. Weighting system Weights, generally made of lead, to counteract the buoyancy of other diving equipment, and the belts, pockets or harnesses used to support them. Welding shield Cover for the viewport area of a helmet or mask to filter excessive light in UV when welding or oxy arc cutting. Wellhead The component at the surface of an oil or gas well that provides the structural and pressure containing interface for the drilling and production equipment. Wet bell A cable suspended chamber, open at the bottom, that is lowered underwater to operate as a base or a means of transport for a small number of divers. Normally supplied with breathing gas from the surface. Wet filling Filling scuba cylinders using a water bath for cooling the cylinders. Wet pot Water-filled hyperbaric chamber. Wet notes A small notebook of waterproof paper carried by some divers. Wet suit a close-fitting, thermally insulating, foam neoprene diving suit that allows a limited volume and movement of water inside the suit. Whip Flexible high-pressure gas hose with connector at the free end, used for temporary connections. E.g. filling whip, for filling cylinders, oxygen whip for oxygen transfer, blending whip, for decanting gases when blending gas, etc. Whip check A cable or webbing strap connecting a hose end to the attachment point in addition to the hose end fitting, which restrains the movement of the hose if the connection is broken under pressure. Whip checks connecting two hose ends may also be attached to an anchor point to limit motion further if this is practicable. Whip sock Also containment grip whip check device which contains a short section of the whip within a braided tube which reduces wear and point loading on the hose, and constrains motion of the hose end more than a standard whip check in case of disconnection under pressure. Wing Back inflation buoyancy compensator cell WKPP Woodville Karst Plane Project Woolly Bear A wool or synthetic pile thermal under suit worn under a diving dry suit, particularly with standard diving dress, often one-piece Working pressure Maximum filling pressure rating for the cylinder at standard temperature. Also charging pressure Work of breathing Also WAB the effort expended in inhaling and exhaling the breathing gas. Rec diving. Recreational or technical diving on and inside of shipwrecks. Wrist slate. A small plastic writing surface attached to the diver's wrist. Topic X. Topic Y Yoke adapter A fitting used to connect a regulator or filling whip with a DIN thread connection to an international connection cylinder valve. Yoke fitting, valve 
a fitting or valve used to connect a regulator or filling whip to a diving cylinder using the international connection. Y valve Cylinder valve body with two outlets and two valve mechanisms which can be independently controlled so that two regulator first stages can be fitted. Similar to H valve but in Y configuration. Also known as slingshot valve. Topic Z ZHL8 ZHL16 Bullman decompression algorithms. Also ZHL 16A, B and C. Zip tie. Also cable tie, tie wrap, self-locking plastic strip used to connect objects together. Z knife. Line cutting tool with a replaceable blade in a slot. <laughs> See also.